always chilling here live again play by play again NCAA college basketball men's 2024 Big Ten championship today Wisconsin Badgers 22 and 12 up against number 13 in the country Illinois fighting a line I 25 and 8 record we got an amazing game for you guys today. Hope you had a beautiful weekend. We are here Sunday, March 17th, 2024. And I called a couple games yesterday. I'm watching a, another game right now. Folks, it is March Madness. Buckle up. Big Ten Championship. Tip off about half hour away or so. And as always, I'll go through some the starting lineups, uh, player stats, Stat leaders, team stats, news and notes, injury updates, all that for you guys. And how they got here as well. Folks, how they got here is just simply amazing, folks. And we'll get to that here shortly. But tip-off is after this game right now, VCU and Duquesne. Uh, this is the Atlantic 10 right now championship game going on. Um, let's see. And then Auburn. In Florida going on right now as well. Uh, but first off, let's get to this game here. Starting shortly. Well, this game's almost a minute left here in this game. Uh, they're down three, VCU. Um, let me see. <clears throat> yep, so the SEC tournament final right now. Auburn is up 11 on Florida with 8 minutes left in the game there. Broom has 14 points, 7 rebounds, 3 blocks. Pullen has 15 points. But Auburn is up 11, number 12 team in the country in the SEC final against Florida right now. Um, that's the other top 25. Let me see D1 real quick. Uh, but the Big Ten tournament championship game. Wisconsin versus Illinois starts in about less than a half hour away, and I'll I'll go through everything with you guys here. But I'm I'm looking over some Division One games right now. Temple and UAB that starts the American Atlantic final. Um, Brown versus Yale. Yale won by a buzzer beater, folks, against Brown today in the Ivy League championship game, and Yale had an automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. They won today by a buzzer beater. 62-61 over Brown. Wolf had 9 points, 13 rebounds, 4 blocks. Man, but this other one here we got going on right now. Duquesne and VCU. VCU down 1 with 130 left in the game. Vamila Sele, 20 points, 3 blocks. Dixon with 6 points, 7 rebounds. And then Auburn just took it. They got, they're up 12 now in Florida. Um, but let's get to the starters for Wisconsin and Illinois. We'll get to the stat leaders, team stats, and everything else after this last minute here in this VCU game. I'm still watching the, the VCU, the Atlantic 10 championship game. And VCU is down three with 59 seconds left right now in a timeout. So, all right, let's go through the starters here. So Wisconsin Badgers, 22 and 12 record. And hopefully we started the right. I, I'm not sure if there's not much injury going on, but uh, Chucky Hepburn, Max Klesmet, AJ Store, Tyler Wall, and Stephen Crawl, big seven footer, Stephen Crawl. For number 13 rank, Illinois, fighting Illini, 25 and 8 record. Marcus Domask, Ty Rogers, Terrence Shannon Jr. Quincy Guerrier and Coleman Hawkins. But folks, Shannon Jr. in the Big Ten tourney set a record for 40 points last game as Illinois beat Nebraska 98-87. We'll get to some more uh, game stats for the previous games. But folks, Terrence Shannon Jr. set a Big Ten tournament record with 40 points. And Wisconsin, they upset number three, Purdue. Number three, Purdue in the country. They defeated Edie and company in overtime, Wisconsin did. 76-75. Hepburn dropped 22 points. 
for Wisconsin, and that's how they got here. But folks, I'll get to all of it here. But I went through the starting lineups. Let me see. I write everything down here. But yesterday I did Marquette versus UConn. UConn won the Big East Championship game. And I also did Oregon. Sorry, Oregon Ducks versus Colorado Buffaloes yesterday. In the last Pac-12 game ever, folks, because the Pac-12 is going to be dismantled and the other teams will be going to conference. All the teams will be going to different conferences. So the Pac-12 is done, done for. That was the last Pac-12 game last night. The Pac-12 championship game, and the Oregon Ducks won that. Dante had a huge game, like 25 points, 13 rebounds, something like that. He's great. Unbelievable. And Fale Dante, a senior for Oregon. Oregon beat Colorado last night. They're the Pac-12 champions. UConn won yesterday. Those are the two games I called. Um, and then, folks, this, the, today is Selection Sunday. So later on this afternoon, I think it's like 6, 7 o'clock or so, right around sometime this afternoon is the men's and women's. Selection Sunday, so the selection show going on. But if you're out there betting today, Illinois is a favorite, obviously. So, versus Wisconsin, I say that because Illinois, one of the best teams in, in the in the nation, number 13 rank. And we'll get to some more team stats here, but man. But the bet line right now, Illinois minus three and a half. I've seen it like minus five as well. I've seen, but I think going into the game today is minus three and a half. It's right around the, the bet line. But I, I don't bet in nothing like that, but that's the bet line. But in all, Illinois' favorite, number 13th in country, 25 and 8, taking on Wisconsin Badgers, 22 and 12 in the Big Ten Championship game. And tip off is less than 30 minutes away. I'm watching the VCU, the Quesnay game right now. Uh, VCU is down three with 32 seconds left. Auburn's up 17 on Florida right now. In the SEC championship with five minutes left in that game. Broom with a double-double. 18 points, 10 rebounds, three blocks for Auburn. But pulling 15 points for Florida. Um, and then at just past 2 o'clock, about any minute, well, about about 10 minutes from now, Temple versus UAB American Atlant uh, Athletic Conference Championship game. UAB. Uh, they're the favorites there. Yeah, get a good record, 22-11. and 11. So, whomever wins these games will have an automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. And folks, get your brackets ready because the tournament starts next week. I think like Thursday or might be Wednesday. One of the first play in the first four games, I think, or first four teams, something like that, is playing around then, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, man. But we're about to get ready here. Wisconsin versus Illinois in the Big Ten Championship game. So, let's get to some... Uh, team stats and other news and notes. But Wisconsin, they're 14-9 and nine in the Big Ten. They're on a three-game win streak. I should pull up the, uh, the game cast on that. So again, 14-9 and nine in the Big Ten for Wisconsin. Three-game win streak. Illinois, 16-6 and six in the Big Ten. And they're also on a three-game win streak. Um, let's see. So again, Wisconsin beat Purdue. Just yesterday, I think it was, right? Yeah, overtime. 76-75. Man, Hepburn, 22 points in that one. And then Illinois beat Nebraska yesterday. And then Wisconsin beat Northwestern. That was a, a few days ago. They beat Maryland as well. That's how they got here. Illinois beat Nebraska, Ohio State, and Iowa. Well, Iowa was the last game of the season, but Ohio State. So the Illinois had a bit because they came in at number two seed, I believe. Or, yeah, because Purdue had number one. But anywho, they're supposed to have a three-game win streak. There's your Big Ten records. In the last ten games, Wisconsin is 6-4. and four. Illinois is 8-2 and two in the last ten. Um, but team stats, let's get to team stats real quick. Uh, but there's 14 seconds left. VCU is down five. Looks like Duquesne is going to get uh, Duquesne. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Duquesne. Um, they're up five right now on VCU. 14 seconds left. So it looks like they're going to get an automatic bid in. All right, so let's get to some team stats real quick. Illinois, the number 11 scoring team in the nation, folks, averaging 84.2 points a game, Illinois, fighting the line eye. Man. And also, Illinois is one of the best rebounding teams in the country. They're sixth rebounding team in the country rebounds per game 41 and a half rebounds a game for Illinois so the 11th best scoring the sixth best rebounding team 
Wisconsin averaging about 75 points a game, 34 rebounds a game. Uh, 12 and a half assists, though, like 12.6 assists for Wisconsin, 13 assists for Illinois. So right around the same uh, assist. Uh, steals, Wisconsin, good defending team. They get, they get out in the front, and they're led by Hepburn. He's averaging over two steals a game. Uh, but Wisconsin averaging 6.2 steals a game coming in. Illinois averaging 4.2 or 4.3 steals a game and 3.8 blocks a game for Illinois, led by Hawkins. I like I like him a lot. Coleman Hawkins. I think he's coming out. He'll be he'll be drafted. But Hawkins 1.5 steals a game, 1.1 blocks a game, leads the team. Man, Illinois, good defending team. They get out the Big Ten. It's it's just a battle in group. They need a grading. Oh man. It's rough over here in the Big Ten. I'm from the Midwest, and I'm from the Big Ten, and I'm loving it. I love to fight in the line eye. Number 13 in the country, Illinois, 25-8, and eight, going up against Wisconsin Badgers, 22-12. and 12. Tip off, I think, at, at two, well, shortly after this game here, the VCU and the Quesne in the Atlantic, or the, with 10 seconds left. Um, I'm watching the Auburn-Florida game right now. There's four minutes left in that. Auburn's up 17. Uh, but let's get to some more team stats here real quick, and we'll get to some stat leaders and a few of the player stats before we get into it. Uh, tip off and this and that. I'm always chilling. I just do play-by-play. -play. I don't get paid no nothing. This is the hobby of mine. I do it to pass a little time. I have fun with it. I'm enjoying it, folks. Smash that like if you want. Hit that subscribe. Man, I wouldn't miss this for the world. I, I'm almost 100 games in. I've been play-by-play -play for almost a year now, and I've been following sports and everything, playing sports all my life. I'm almost over the hill, believe it or not, and I'm just... I still, I'm still out there playing sports, and I love it. And now I got into my journey. This is a hobby of mine. Play-by-play -play calling, announcing, commentating, whatever you want to call it. We're all having a watch party here. And shout out to all the play-by-play -play hosts out there, whoever doing play-by-play. -play. It's, it's amazing. I love doing this. But if you guys are listening in around the world, I wish you guys a beautiful day. I hope you had an amazing weekend. And in the future as well, if you stumble upon always chilling, tuning in, listening in, chatting away. In the future, I hope you have a beautiful day as well. What an amazing day. The Big Ten Championship game. Illinois fighting Illini versus Wisconsin Badgers. Tip-off is less than about 15 minutes away or so. So let's get to some more team stats real quick. I was going through the defense. Wisconsin Badgers, 6.2 steals a game, 1.6 block. Illinois, 4.3 steals, 3.8 block a game as a team. Wisconsin holding their opponents to 69.3 points a game. So, again, good defending team. Uh, good shooting team for Wisconsin, too. They're, they're both good shooting teams in the field. Uh, but with Illinois holding their opponents to 73.4 points a game coming in. Illinois shooting 47% from the field, 35 from downtown, and 74 from the free throw line. So, good good shooting teams here, especially considering the Big Ten where every shot's contested and Everything, every pass, close it down. Uh, but Wisconsin shooting 46.3%, about 35%, 34.8% from downtown, 75.5%. They're 48th in the country in free throw percentage, 75.5%. So it gives you a little bit of an idea. If they weren't top 50, I didn't mark it down. I should have marked down the Big Ten uh, rankings. But usually I just write, write down the nation top within the top 50. Uh, so those are the team stats right there. Again, Illinois, one of the best scoring and rebounding teams in the nation. 11th in scoring, 84.2 points a game coming in. 41.5 rebounds a game, 6th in the country. And let's get to the Illinois player stats real quick. Leading the team in scoring, Terrence Shannon Jr., folks. The senior, actually the Illini, the fighting Illini have four seniors in their starting lineup. Whew, man. And Rogers, a sophomore. Wisconsin has a couple seniors. Um, well, they got one senior, actually. They got Wall in the lineup. Crawls, a junior. Storrs, sophomore. Klesmith, junior. Hepburn, junior. Illinois, DeMass, senior. Rogers, sophomore. Shannon, junior, senior. Gurrier, senior. Hawkins, senior. Uh, but let's get to player stats for Illinois. The fighting Illini, folks. We'll start off with uh, Terrence Shannon, junior. Leads the team in scoring 22.6 points a game. And actually, I want to get to the nation scoring as well. I'm going to pull up stats. I'm going to pull up stats for uh, around the country, too, because I usually throw that out there. Uh, so points. Yep, Taren, Terrence Shannon Jr. is third in the country in scoring per game, 22.6 points a game. 
Tommy Bruner for Denver, 24 points a game. And Zach Eady, who went down versus Wisconsin, the big upset in overtime yesterday, took down the number one scorer in the country, Zach Eady, 24 points, four points a game. But Terrence Shannon Jr., we're going to get a treat here today. Terrence Shannon just dropped 40 points a game, or last game. Is that a Big Ten record, folks? And uh, went over Nebraska, Terrence Shannon. Yo, shout out RC. Everyone out there listening in around the world, hit that like, hit that subscribe if you want. It don't matter. I just do this for hobby. I don't get paid. I'm, I'm out here having fun. With, give me some motivation to keep going. But regardless, I'll keep on going because I'm I'm loving sports. I got I'm enthusiastic and I I, lo I love it. I love being here. I love chatting away. I love you guys listening in. If you guys want to use it, just use it. If you want want to use my voice for all this and that. Do whatever you got to do out there. But we got RC in the chat. The Bears traded for Justin. You know, they traded. I know. They only got like a sixth rounder, but I think it could be a fourth rounder to Pittsburgh. But he'll be backing up uh, Russell Wilson. Shout out, Russ, man, Russell. But Russell Wilson, uh, I believe, will be starting for Pittsburgh. But oh, some NFL talk there. But RC in the chat, Bears traded. Yeah, Justin Fields. But the Bears made a move. Man, they got Keenan Allen. Come on, man. The Bears got Keenan Allen. If that don't tell you much, they're going all in, I think. And they just picked up DeAndre Swift. The Bears. The Bears. I like the Bears. Um, but RC, I have not paid much attention all night since Darren was. Ah, oh, man. Shout out Luther Head, Darren Wins, D. Brown. What? RC, you're right around my age. I'm almost, I'm almost 44. I'll be 44 soon. But RC, shout out. You're always in the chat, RC, man. Shout out. RC, you got an awesome channel. RC, you're Asian. Shout out Hawkeyes in Iowa and Caitlin Clark and all the fans out there for Iowa. RC in the chat again. Oh, man. Yeah. I remember Darren Wins and that. Oh, man. I remember that night. I was moving that night when they were playing. When they were playing in the championship game, I was moving that night, and I missed, like, half the game. Uh, but, yeah, I used to like Darren Williams, Luther Head, uh, man, D. Brown. Ah, uh, man. And D. Brown's back in town now. Uh, I think he's coaching somewhere in Champaign. Down there at the U of I, Champaign-Urbana. Ah, uh, man, Champaign. Uh, but shout-out RC out there. But good, awesome channel. You guys go over there. You guys are listening. And shout-out RC. You're racist and Hawkeyes in the, in the chat. You guys go ahead and hit a sub on him one time. But we're pregame right now. First half, 2024 Big Ten Championship game. Wisconsin Badgers just upset the Purdue Boilermakers to get here. It took them overtime. It took them only one point to defeat them. 76-75 Wisconsin over Purdue. Hepburn dropped 20. Oh, dropped a deuce-deuce on him. Man. I like Chucky a lot, too, man. Chucky, the stats... The, I mean, it speaks for himself, I mean, especially the, the way he plays, too. I like Crawl, too. He's, he's a beast down low. And Klezman. Klezman will get up in you. Oh, Max Klezman, you guys see him against Purdue yesterday? Come on. Oh, Klezman was going at Edie all day yesterday. Max Klezman is going to be rough today. I think I think Rodgers will be guarding him today. Like, the Max will probably guard Hepburn, Storo, and Shannon, Garrier Wall, and Hawkins Crawl. That's probably my, the matchups I'm looking looking at going into today's game. Uh, but let's get to some stats for each team again. So Illinois, Damask averaging 15.7 points a game coming in, 4.8 rebounds, 3.6 assists, 0.3 steal, and 0.4 block coming in. So we're about 10 minutes away from tip-off, folks. Buckle up. The Big Ten Championship game about to start tip-off here. About 10 minutes away as uh, DeQuinzene just defeated VCU. So they're out there warming up. Announcers out there. Everyone's shooting around, having fun, smiling around, getting their popcorn, their nachos ready. Oh, man, what a beautiful day. So Ty Rogers as well, 6.7 points a game, 5.5 rebounds, 2.1 assists, half a steal, 0.4 block. Terrence Shannon Jr., again, third in the country in scoring, 22.6 points a game, 4.1 rebound, 2.1 assists, 0.9 steal, and 0.9 block. Good defender, too. Quincy Guerrier, 10.2 points a game, 6.5 rebounds, 0.3 assists, steal, and block, all 0.3. And the starting center, Coleman Hawkins. Man, I like him a lot. He's a, he can shoot, too. I like Coleman Hawkins a lot, man. 12.6 points a game, 6.2 rebounds, 2.7 assists. And he's a good defender, too. One and a half steals a game and 1.1 blocks a game for Hawkins. Leads the team in steals and blocks. Domesk leads the team in assists, 3.6. Jurier leads the team in rebounds, 6.5. And, and Shannon Jr. leads the team in scoring, 22.6. Wisconsin Badgers starters... Stats here. These are the player stats. The Wisconsin Badgers. Chucky Hepburn, 8.9 points a game. Did I already go through all this? I can't remember. I don't think I did. I don't think I went through Wisconsin yet, did I? No. 
have burned 8.9 points, 3.3 rebounds, 3.9 assists, 2.1 steal, and 0.1 block. Max Klezman, 9.5 points a game, 2 rebounds, 1.9 assists, 0.9 steal, and 0.1 block. AJ Store, 16.7 points a game, 3.9 rebound, 0.9 assists, a half a steal, and 0.1 block. Tyler Wall, the power forward, 10.9 points, 5.5 rebounds a game, 1.8 assists, 1.1 steal, and 0.6 block. And the big old 7-foot center, Stephen Crawl, 11.2 points a game, 7.2 rebound, 2 assists, and 0.3 steal, and 0.4 block. Team leaders for Wisconsin, Store leading the team in scoring 16.7 points a game. Stephen Crawl leading the team in rebounding 7.2 rebounds a game. Hepburn leading the team in assists 3.9 and steal 2.1. And Tommy Wall leading the team in blocks, 0. 0.6 blocks a game. Oh man, there's the player stats. Starting lines. Let me throw a chat out there real quick. Oh uh, man, shout out everyone out there. So, and I'll get to the. So, went through the starting lines, went through some team stats, player stats, a few notes. I'm going to look around the league as well, but I'm going to throw a chat out there real quick. Dub Bears. Dub Bears. Let me see. Shout out RC. Chat. The Bears. Keenan. I think that's nice blood, man. In there, put some chats up in there. Boom, you guys like that? Shout out RC in the chat. Dub Bears, amazing pickup with Keenan Allen. Yeah, but yeah, they got rid of uh Justin Fields. Darren and company were amazing to watch as well. Got a great one. I put some two hours up in there in her in her today. <laughs> Big 10 championship, y'all. Beautiful day out there, you guys. Starting to get hot in here. I might turn my heater off. But it was 40 degrees this morning. It was cold up in here this morning. Oof. It was like 60, 70 or so like the last few days. And then today it drops down to 30s, 40 degrees. Now it's like, man, I have to turn my heater off. Like, I only got it on like 65 or so, 67 so. Actually, let me do that right now before tip off. So I threw chat in there, folks. And I'm going to get to some more stats. I'm going to look around the league as well. Uh, but chat is open. Enjoy your day. What a beautiful day. Wisconsin Badgers. Versus Illinois fighting Atlanta in the Big Ten Championship game. Tip off any minute from now. Any minute. Boom. All right, let me, uh, let me turn my heater lower. I'm going to grab some more juice. So tip off any second now. I went through some stats, and I'll go through some uh, player stats around the nation too. Uh, but chat is open there. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. What an amazing weekend. Just please be respectful in chat. No spam, no, no toxicity. You already know what it is. Oh, man, shout out to everyone out there in the chat. Mods, everyone. All right, let's look around the league for uh, player stats here. I'm gonna look at the, I'll look at the top three, like scoring, rebounding, assist, all that. Let me turn my heater, Laura. I'll be right back. One sec. Let's probably be my 
Right back, so. Man, you're off my window and it's still cold. I got a cold breeze coming on through. Now, but this will probably be my last game for like the next few days because I think the, the NCAA tournament starts on Thursday, somewhere, something like that. Thursday. But yeah, it's still cold up in here. It's still cold over here. Like, I had to, I had to open my window for like 15 minutes. I was eating lunch. And so, how they got here again, Wisconsin beat Maryland. They beat Northwestern. They beat Purdue. Upset Purdue, what an amazing game. But folks, Shannon set a Big Ten record with 40 points in the Big Ten tourney. Big Ten tournament record. 40 points last game against Nebraska yesterday in a 98-87 victory. That's how they got here. So let's look at the scores again. I went through the leading scores. 80, 24.4. Bruner for Denver, 24 points. And Terrence Shannon Jr. here with the line eye, 22.6 points a game. Third in the country. Rebounding leaders around the country. Enrique Freeman, 12.9. Uh, Vontarius uh, Woolbright, WCU. I was looking at highlights of the Terrence Shannon Jr. from yesterday. Man, 12 rebounds a game for Woolbright and then 80, 11.7. Assist per game, Tyler Kolek for Marquette. Marquette lost yesterday. I called that game versus UConn. UConn came away with victory, but without Tyler Kolek, he leads the team, he leads the country in, in assists per game, 7.6, and he led the country last year as well. And Kolek was the biggest player of the year last year as well. But he's left. He's get well, get well Kolek. I think he'll be coming back for NCAA tournament. He wanted to play yesterday, but uh, Coach just wasn't having it. Coach said, nope, we, we need you for the tournament. But shout out Tyler Kolek for Marquette. Leading the na nation in assists per game, 7.6. Elijah Hawkins from Minnesota, 7.5. And, folks, we're in Minnesota right now. We're in Minneapolis, Minnesota at Target Center. Attendance is 19,000-plus some-odd fans here to witness the Fighting Illini go up against the Badgers here in the Big Ten Tournament Championship game. Tip off any second now. It's about two minutes away. Uh, but And then other, other assist leaders, Savion Lewis for Quinn, 7.4. Uh, blocks leader Isaiah Kozar for EKU, 3.9. Ryan Kalkbrenner for Creighton, three three blocks a game. I called a game with Creighton earlier today, earlier this year. It was a good game. Kalkbrenner dropped like a double-double. Amazing game for Kalkbrenner. Clifford Amaruri for Rutgers, 2.9 blocks a game. Let's go to Steels and three-pointers. Steels per game leading the nation. Arturo Dean for FIU, 3.4 steals a game. Or 3.4 steals a game. Shahada Wells for MCN, three steals a game. Robert Ford, the third for MT State, 2.9 steals a game. And three-pointers made, leading the nation, Tyler Thomas for Hofstra, 3.8, threes made per game. Rashad Williams for UAPB, 3.6, threes made a game. And Jack uh, Golke for Oak, 3.6, threes made per game. Uh, so those are some player stats around the nation. Uh, but team stats around the nation, leading the country in scoring per game, Alabama, 90.8 points a game leading the nation. Kentucky in second, 89.4. Arizona in third, 87.9. But you got Illinois here in 11th, 84.2 points a game, 11th in the country. Woo. Points allowed. Houston who got defeated yesterday against ISU. Shout out Iowa State defeating Houston Cougars yesterday. Man. But Houston, number one team in the country, but I don't know about, they might still be in North Carolina last yesterday against NC State. What, a bunch of upsets. Like, this is March Madness. This is what it's all about. A lot. I mean, you would say that was an upset right there. North, NC State against North Carolina. Come on, man. But Houston, the best defensive team, uh, they, they only allow 57 points a game. That's the least in the country. St. Mary's, 58.7. And Virginia, 59.6. Three of the best. And Iowa State right there, 61.3. The Cyclones in fourth. With fourth best defense in the country. The best rebounding team in the country right now is playing Florida Gators. 42.8 rebounds a game. But actually, they lost just now against Auburn in the SEC turn, or championship game. Auburn won by 19 over Florida just now. So that's the final. How about Florida leading the country in the rebounding? Texas in second, 42.7. Arizona, 42.6. And again, folks, the Pac-12 is obliterated after this year. The Pac-12, the teams will be going to different conferences. That's why I called that Oregon-Colorado game last night. I wouldn't I wouldn't have missed that for the, for the world. 
because Oregon and Colorado, that was the final game of the Pac-12, you guys, last night. I witnessed it. I called it. I did play-by-play -play as Oregon Ducks won it. And the folly Dante with a huge game, like 25 points, double-double, like 13 rebounds. Um, so, let's see. So, we'll through some. That's good enough. That's good. That's good enough stats. Let's get to our game. Let's get to our game cast here. Let's tip off any second now. Get to my game cast. Get ready for this. Get buckled up. Put my other stats over here. I got my. I write down everything. If you guys only knew. I, I'll show it here. I mean, I'll show. I don't mind. I'll show my. Show my stuff over here. I got Quincy over here sleeping. I think you guys a little preview of what I'm about. I got Quincy's snacks right there. I got my stats here. I got my other news and notes over there. I got Quincy over here hanging out. He's sleeping right now. That's Quincy all in the four corners. I give him a shout out every game. But that's Quincy right there. He's sleeping right now. Give him a close up, Quincy. He's sleeping. We'll leave him sleep. Get back to my notes. You got treats there, but back on my desk here. It's in my battle station here. Back to the battle station. Getting ready to call the game. The Big Ten Championship game, you guys. Here we go. Grab one more drink. So Hepburn, Klez, uh, Klezmet, Store, Wall, and Craw got the right lineup. Shannon, Domast, Rogers, Garrier, and Hawkins. So all the right lineup. Well, I'll be a big old seven footer craw. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. The Big Ten Championship game. Here we go. Seventh season of the coach for Underwood. 2021 Big Ten Tournament champ. Here we go, folks. Tip off. Looks like Gary is gonna tip off. And crawl. And I'll try to keep up with stats up there on the screen. Let me take pregame off. And the tip won by Wisconsin. <clears throat> Let me take pregame off of there. So there's up stop. It's Craw. Hands it off the store. Over to Klesmet. Free throw line. Hands it off to Craw. Back down low to Wall. Wall to Craw. Wall down low with the hook shot. Short. Rebound Hawkins. All right, let me take off uh, pregame. Is it the Moss? The Moss up top. Hang on, let me take pregame off of there. There we go. So no score. We're just underway. We are just underway. It's Garrier trying to find Shannon. It's Rogers. Rogers to Shannon hands it off. Shannon with the drive and he's tripped up. So Shannon is fouled and I'm not sure if it's a shooting foul, but he was tripped up by I think it was Wall whistled for the call. So no score. Just about a minute gone. And welcome in the chat, also, also Captain Frillis. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show the game. I, I just do play-by-play -play old school podcast radio. I, I'm announcer play-by-play, -play and I try to call every pass, every rebound, every shot, everything, everything for you. But unfortunately, I can't show the game. I, um, I just try to take it all down and this and that. But here's a shot missed down low by Gurrier. And rebound cleared by Craw gets it out. Here's Craw up top. Hands it off the store, store in the lane, jumper, and knocks it down. And there's the first bucket of the game, Wisconsin 2 nothing. Shot by a store. Let me pull up box score. So I'll pull up box score and I'll try to get along. I'll try to follow along here and update my, my, high, my high game stats down below. Here's a shot on the wing. Three ball by Hawkins on the wing. 3-2. Hawkins, eight points a game in this tournament. Seven rebounds a game. Here's Klesman looking down low to, to crawl in the post. Backing down, Hawkins takes him baseline. Crawl up and under reverse. 4-3 Wisconsin. Two minutes gone. Hang on, let me do this. Update the score so we get some kind of score up there. There we go, 4-3, boom, boom. Probably at the TV timeout, update my... Uh, my game high player stats down below. And here's a drive by Terrence, missing it. Rebound by Rodgers and put back by Ty Rodgers, the sophomore. All the others are seniors in the lineup. 5-4 Illinois. Here's Hepburn up top. Here's Wall. Hands it off. Here's Crawl up top. 12 on the shot clock. Gives it to Klizmet. 
Looking down low to crawl in the post again. Crawl backing down Hawkins on the box. Crawl left handed hook in the lane. Short rebound Hawkins. You can clear it out to Shannon. Back to Hawkins up top. To Garrier. Hands it off to Damask. Over to Hawkins. To Shannon. Shannon driving baseline. And he is fouled. Terrence Shannon Jr. going to the line shooting too. The senior. 40 points last game versus Nebraska. A Big Ten tournament record. So four. Uh, four to five, but Shannon's at the line right now. I'm going to wait. See if he knocks these down. He knocks down the first. I'm going to update the score. But at the first timeout, TV timeout, update the uh, player stats down below, the game high stats, as always. But Shannon, third in Division One in scoring 22.6 points a game. He's shooting almost 47% from the field as well. Knocks them both down. The Illini take a three-point lead. 7-4. Here's that burn up top dribbling on the wing. Gets it up to crawl down low to wall. And knocked away in a foul by Gurrier down low. <clears throat> then by pass to crawl up top store has it get the high screen from wall store free throw line jumper not cutting lead to one three for five shooting for Wisconsin two for five Illinois and here's a long shot and miss by Shannon and tipped around and rebound by Shannon. Gets it to Hawkins for three. Hawkins short and rebound Klesment. He'll bring it past half court. With 16 minutes to go here in the first half. Gets the high screen from Crawl. Gets it to Wall. Wall down low to Crawl and turnover out of bounds. Couldn't get to it. The bounce pass by Wall and a turnover Wisconsin. But a nice jumper by the, on the elbow by A.J. Storr. Store averaging, he's averaging, he's a team leader in scoring, 16.7 points a game for Store. He's averaging 22 points in uh, 5.7 rebounds in the Big Ten Tournament Store. Here's DeMoss swing pass to Garrier for three on the elbow. On the wing, actually knocking it down. Three ball Garrier and Illini take a four point lead. 10-6. Here's Hepburn driving and a blocking foul by Rogers at the other end. And a timeout, the first timeout of the game, 10-6 Illinois. Let me update my stat line down below. Hang on one sec. Update my stat line down below. Update the, the game high stats down below. But the, but the game's on the local channel. If you guys got funny ears, go ahead and pop them on. But it's on CBS right now. If you guys got a, looks like TV and a local station or whatnot, um, or bunny or like antenna, pop them on there, get some free TV. Um, so 10-6 Illinois, four, about uh, four minutes gone, 16 or 15.45 left in the first half. TV timeout, I'm going to run through some game high player stats here. So game high right now, store with four, we'll put that down there, point, store. Rebounding leader, two for Rodgers, two for Hawkins, up a Hawk. Hawk with two. For assist leader, uh, let's see, Craw, Klesmik out of dime, Domask up with Domask. Domsk, let's get some Domsk. Any steals? Thought there was a steal, I guess not. So no steals yet? I thought there was a steal. No, no steals, no blocks. All right. So this is the game high stats down below. For those of you wondering out there. Let me get a drink. So Lani shooting three of eight. Wisconsin three of five. No threes yet for Wisconsin. Two of three downtown for Illinois here in the TV timeout. 10-6 Illinois with the lead. They 2-for-2 two two from the free throw line. No free throws for Wisconsin. 
one turnover for Wisconsin, so I thought Illinois had a steal, but might have been wrong. Oh, Wall just passed it out of bounds. That's what it was. Wall is trying to find Crawl. That's going to be fun to call. Wall Crawl, fun to call. <laughs> Or is it Kroll? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we're back. We're back. <clears throat> if you guys missed the Auburn beat Florida in this SEC championship game just now. Oh man, what a day. I said the Big Ten Championship game. This is the last game, and then there's a this is Selection Sunday. The tournament selection here will be coming up. All right, we're back. Oh, Mister, hang on. So checking in is Winter. So Nolan Winter checks in some substitutes. And Nolan Winter driving and gets the ball knocked out of bounds. So Winter checks in. Blackwell checks in. Uh, who else? So Winter's in there. Blackwell is... Uh-oh. Danger's in there. Dang, danger is in the game for Illinois. There's a shot on the wing. I think that was Klismet. Was that a Klismet for three? It was Klismet for three on the wing. Cutting the lead to one. Here's Domash up top. Gets that to Hawkins. Her first three of the night is Hawkins looking for somebody to pass to. Hawkins up top. Gets it to Shannon. Shannon. Switching up. Wall on him. Shannon driving. Dish to Hawkins. Hawkins with a drive baseline. Finger roll. Missing it. And rebound tapped around. Danger gets it and puts it in for two. Dang Danger. 12-9 Illini. Here's a drive by Hepburn. Driving off the glass and missed. And rebound. Knocked around. Harmon's in there now. Justin Harmon for Illinois. Get that rebound. Here's Shannon with a dish to Hawkins for three. Miss on the wing. Rebound. Shannon put back up and in. But a charge by Terrence Shannon Jr. Turnover Illini. 12-9 Illini with a three-point lead. Got a few subs checking in. Again, Justin Harmon's in there. You got Winter in there. You got Dangers in there. Let me update the score real quick. 12-9. So 14-35 left in the first half here in the Big Ten Tournament Championship game. And I think Shannon Jr. is going to get a breather. I think that was his, uh... oh, that was only his first, right? Yeah. Whew, man. Okay, here we go. So Shannon checks out. And I think uh, Luke Good checks in. So here's Thor. Gets at the wall up top. Wall. Swing pass. Over to McGee. McGee's in the game. Jumper. Baseline. McGee! With a fadeaway jumper on the baseline. Kamari, the junior. Kamari McGee. For Wisconsin, cutting the lead to one, and the ball tipped around and stolen away by McGee. He gets it off, and there's Blackwell. Swing pass to Store for three. Store knocking down the three on the wing gives Wisconsin a two point lead. AJ Store knock. Over here's Blackwell, jumper, free throw, rattles in and out, rebound, danger. Gets it to Damask. Long pass to Rodgers. Rodgers takes it baseline and knocked out of and off Rodgers' last turnover. Illini. 14 12 Wisconsin. Almost midway through the first half here. Wisconsin come roaring back to take a two point lead. One turnover, Wisconsin. Three turnovers for the Illini right now. Here's Winter. Hands it off to Blackwell. Swing pass to Crawl. Gets it over to Store. Store for three on the wing. Rattles out. Rebound Rodgers. He'll bring it up. 
Long pass in the corner to Mosk. A touch pass over there to Harmon. Harmon dribbling around up top. Two for four downtown, West, or uh, two for three, Wisconsin, two for four, Illinois. Here's Harmon gets a high screen from Danger. Swing pass to Good in the corner to Rogers. Rogers backing down. Backing down, winner. Rogers in the lane, up and off the glass. Over, winner. And Rogers with the beautiful move on the block. Spin move. Off the glass and in. And we got ourselves a tie ball game. 14 apiece with 12 minutes left here in the first half. Here's John Blackwell, the freshman. Gets it over to winner. Hand off the store. Store on the baseline. Guarded by Domask. Store taking it baseline up and blocked away by Good. Store gets it back and up and in. Store with the strong move down low. Gets the Wisconsin a two point lead. Under 12 minutes left now. Here's Domask dribbling around. Get the high screen from Danger. Domask. Backing down Blackwell, Damask on the post, turn around, baseline jumper, fade away. Damask, fade away jumper on the baseline, ties it up. Now we're going back and forth, lead changes, ties, everything now. And here's McGee with a drive and miss, off and rattles, and he is out of bounds. I think Danger had the ball, but he stepped out of bounds. I'm not sure what happened there. But a timeout on the floor. Tied up at 16. 11.26 left here in the first half. Let me update my score and my stat, uh, game high stats down below. But we're in commercial break, folks. What a beautiful day. Big 10 championship game. Now it's going back and forth. Lead changes. Ties right now. Whew, let me refresh my uh, box score here. So 16 apiece. Boom. Updated that. Let me update my game high stats down below. And I got to get a drink here because my throat's getting a little roughed up. Oh, this is Big Ten. This is Big Ten basketball. It's going to be rough out there. Here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Target Center. Sold out. 19,000 plus fans here in attendance here to witness the Big Ten championship game between Wisconsin Badgers. 22 and 12. Whew, man. First number 13 in the country, Illinois, fighting Illini. 25 and 8. 13th in the country, man. Hang on one sec. Let me see. Store with nine. He leads all scorers, so store with nine of them. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Rebounds. Let's see, Rogers with three boards. Rogers with three rebounds. Leads all rebounders. Okay, okay. Represent. Rogers going to get represent. Rogers, he got three boards. Boom. Assist. I think Domas. Domas with a with a dime. We'll leave it at that. And he steals. Oh yeah, Wall and Store with a steal. We'll put. We'll get Wall up. Well, we'll get Store some stats over there. Store. I put Wall to Wall. Blap blap blap. So Wall and Store with a steal. Any blocks out there? Any block parties? There is a couple block parties. Good got in on the block party. Hawkins got in on the block party. So two blocks right now for Illini. I'll put Hawk and good. Blah. There we go. That's good. Boom. I fit all that in there. All right. Put it all up in there. Got my game high player stats down below. My awesome graphics out there, you guys. You guys already know. We're here. Tie ball game. Wisconsin and Illinois. 16 apiece. Almost midway through the first half here. 11.26 left here in the first half in the Big Ten tournament championship final game here in 2024 and on to selection sunday here later tonight for the ncaa tournament Whew, man but there's a the game high stats down below but wisconsin shooting 7 and 15 thus far almost 47 percent two or three downtown illinois shooting 6 to 14 43 percent and two or four downtown two free two for two free throws illinois no free throws there for wisconsin one turnover for wisconsin only Three for Illinois through the first half of this uh, first half of this game. Through the first half of this first half of this game, we are tied at 16. And the coaches are still talking it over there. Over there, they're scrambling around, writing up different plays. Oh man, three fouls for Illinois, two for Wisconsin. I gotta get a drink real quick. Let me take a swig. Let me get a drink. Oh, man.
What a beautiful weekend out there. Cap in the chat. RC, you, got, you guys, if you're listening to any one of Aussie games, just if you got some bunny ears out there, go ahead and pop your pop the tube on and get an antenna and pop it on there. Maybe aluminum will work. Who knows? But that's all I'm watching on. I got my antenna plugged in. I'm ready to roll. Here we go. Store up top. Gets it to Klesmet in the lane, running Florida one-handed, knocks it down. Klesmet in Wisconsin take a two-point lead. We are back. Clock is running. 11 minutes left here in the first half. Here's the mask up top. Get the high screen from Gurrier. Klesmet to Gurrier. Pump fake. Drives. Gurrier in the lane. Jumper off the back iron. Off the backboard and missed it. Rebound wall. It'll bring it past half court. Gets it off to Hepburn. Oh, Chucky Jr. I like Chucky Hepburn a lot. He's, he had 22 points last game in an upset over Purdue. So that's why I like Hepburn. Shoot. He just runs the floor. He does, he does all the little things. That's, he's a scrappy. I mean, the score is scrappy, too. I like, I like AJ a lot. Here's Speaking of AJ, step back three, top of the key, back iron, missed it. Rebound, Harmon. Harmon, another senior. Illinois is just full of seniors. Four seniors in the starting lineup. Here's Garrier. Gets it off to Harmon. Harmon takes it all the way to the iron. Off the backboard and in. Harmon with a strong drive. Ties it up at 18 with 10 minutes left in the first half. Here's Hepburn. Driving. Kicks it off to Klesman. And look at Crawl trying to post up Shannon down low. Crawl gets the ball on the block. Shannon guarding him. Crawl backs him down. Bumping and grinding down low. Missing it. And he gets it back and up and in. Crawl, the big seven-footer. Wisconsin up two. Here's the mask. Driving. Free throw line. Kicks out to Gurrier for three. Back iron. Rebound tipped out by Damask to Hawkins. Hawkins with a drive. Kicks it out to Harmon for three in the corner. Missed it. And rebound, Hepburn. Hepburn will clear pass half court. Nine minutes left here in the first half. Two for six downtown Illinois. Two for four Wisconsin. Here's Hepburn with a drive. Kicks it out there. Who is that? Klesmet. Klesmet. And gets a blocking foul by Domask. For a charge. Was it a charge? What? Klesmet get whistled for the charge. Let me update the score real quick. 20 to 18. Hang on. Mm-mm. <laughs> This game's going back and forth. This is a great game. This is the Big Ten Championship game. That's what it's all about, guys. 20-18. Here's Rodgers back in the game. Rodgers dribbling in the lane. Over wall. Hook shot. Back iron. Missed a big rebound by Storr down low. He'll bring it past half court. AJ with the drive in the lane. Left handed off the glass. Missed it. AJ Storr going to the line. Shooting two. With Wisconsin leading by a deuce. With 8.58 left here in the first half, Justin Harmon playing some good D over there. Got a little bit too much body. Good D out there for the senior, Justin Harmon. What's Harmon got? He's one for two. He got two boards and a two points. Two boards, two points for danger off the bench. Some good bench play. Good with the block. Oh, Luke Good. Shout out Luke Goody Jr. He'll be coming back. Got a good team next year. Got Nicola. Uh... Already, the freshman coming out. Man, well, he's well, he's only a freshman, too. Danger's only a junior. Got some good bench over there. Blackwell's only a freshman for Wisconsin. Hodge is only a sophomore. You got Winner. He's only, Winner's only a freshman. Like, come on, man. So he knocks them both down. Wisconsin up four now, 22-18. Store's only a sophomore. So Wisconsin going to have a strong team next year. When Nebraska going to have a big team, good team. Big Ten's just good, man. They'll be picking up a few teams for Pac-12, but Rodgers with a drive, and he's fouled by Wall, so Rodgers will shoot free throws now at the other end. So now we're, they're kind of slowing it down. They're grinding it out. Playing a little tired of defense here to close out the first half. Underwood over there. So 22-18, 8.50 left here in the first half. Yeah, what's that? And Rodgers knocks on the first. I'll wait to update the score real quick. But at halftime, I'll run through some halftime stats and all that. You guys already know. Here's Wall. Check it out. Ty 
Rodgers, five points, three boards already. Missing the second. And I didn't see who got the rebound. I left it in the score. I think it was Klesmet. There we go. Klesmet dribbling around up top. Three-point lead. Wisconsin kicks it out. To Craw for three. Missed it. Back iron. Craw shot up a three. I got to catch up here. Shannon for three at the other end. Shannon knocking down a three ball from the wing. His first three of the night. And we're tied at 22 apiece. Five points for Shannon now. Here's Dorr. Kicks it out. And actually, Carter Gilmore checked in for Wisconsin. Here's Hepburn in the lane. Kicks it out to Craw. Top of the key. Hands it off to Hepburn. Gets a screen. Down low to Craw. Nice pick and roll. Blocked away. I think that was good with another block. Who knows? Kicks it out to Shannon. In transition, Shannon gets the ball knocked away. And a save by Wisconsin. And Gilmore gets it, gets it to Klesman. Good defense. We're tied at 22 right now. Here's Klesman getting the ball knocked away from Rodgers. And a good defense by Illinois. Forcing a turnover. And a timeout on the floor. Tied at 22. Shannon coming down, just jacking up a three from the wing. Tying it up. 7.44 left here in the first half. Another TV timeout. Twenty-two. Let me get a drink real quick and I'll update my stat line. So we're commercial break. Woo! Let me take a breather real quick. Okay. Let's see. Pop a chat in there. Amazing game. Amazing game. Big ten. Final. Almost half time. Tied at 22. I thought that's had an amazing game. Big 10 final. Almost half time. Tied at 22. I don't know why that came up like that. Okay. Close that one out. Let's look at the game stats real quick. So tied at 22. 744 left in the. Half, first half. Wisconsin shooting 9 of 21, almost 43%, 42.9. 2 of 5 downtown, 40%. 2 of 2 from the free throw line, Wisconsin. Illinois, again, one of the best shooting teams in the country, shooting, well, they're most scoring, 84 points a game, 11th in the country. But Illinois shooting 8 for 21, 38% right now, Illinois. They're 3 of 7 downtown, almost 43%, and 3 of 4 from the free throw line. And both teams turned it over three times, but both teams are starting to pick up the D. You can tell right now, going into the going into the half right now, last couple minutes here, last few minutes here, seven minutes and change, less here in the first half, tied at 22. But they're both starting to close out on D, play a little tighter defense, contest, just closing it out. It's, it's amazing. Just watching Big Ten ball right now. Four ties, four lead changes right now, so far. Shannon, five points, one for four shooting. Store, 11 points for Store. Actually, I forgot to update my game high stats down below. I'm falling behind her. Yeah, 11 points for Store. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. 11 for Store. Let me update my score. So, who's the leading rebounder? Harmon with three boards off the bench for Illinois. Three rebounds for Store. What? For store. Store with three boards. Assist. Willie DeMoss. One block. A bunch of guys got a block. A bunch of guys got a steal. That's good. Alright, so there's your game high score right now. AJ Store with 11. 5 for Klesman. 4 for Crawl. Uh, two points off the bench for McGee. Illinois, Rogers five, Shannon five, three for Hawkins and Guerrier, two for Damas, and Danger and Harmon both with the deuce off the bench. And we're tied at 22 right now.
10 points in the paint for Wisconsin, 8 for Illini. Points in the paint. So here we go. 7.44 left in the first half. Good will pass it in. Tied at 22. Rodgers gets it. Ty Rodgers will bring it past half court. Hands it off to Damask. Guarded by Blackwell and a foul by Blackwell. Old John Blackwell. Wow, Jared, come on, bro. Jared. Bro. If you guys got bunny ears out bunny ears out there, you can watch the game. If you got a TV, just pop an antenna out there. You can watch it, watch it on CBS right now if you want. But I can't show the game, unfortunately. I just I do play by play. And here's Damas down low, and he's fouled down low with 7.20 left. So if you're in the chat out there, please be respectful. No spam, no toxicity, no trolls out there. We're having fun out here. I don't get paid no nothing. I do this for the love of the game, love of sports, love of play by play. I don't get paid no nothing. I'm out here having fun. It's a hobby of mine. I'm passing time having fun with y'all. That's what it's all about. Here's Damas with a free throw, knocking it down. But Jared, if you're out there in the chat, go ahead and get an antenna and hook it up to your TV. Maybe you can watch it over there. But unfortunately, I can't show the game. I, I do apologize. I cannot show the game. I just do play-by-play. -play. I'm an announcer. That's all I do. I commentate. That's all there is to it. Call it a day. I apologize. I can't show the game. But we're back here. And a missed free throw by Damask. Blackwell with two fouls off the bench. 23-22, Illinois takes a one-point lead with seven minutes left here in the first half. Here's Hepburn at the free throw line, missing the shot, but a foul on Ty Rogers. And Hepburn will shoot two. I think that was a shooting foul. Ty Rogers whistled for a second. Nope, that was a... Let me update the score real quick. 24-23. Actually, Hepburn knocked that down. So, yep. 20, and he knocked down the free throw. 25-23. Wisconsin with the two-point lead. Under seven minutes to go here in the first half. Here's Damas. Gets it off to Hawkins. Gets it down low to Damas. Damas backing down Klesmet. Domask in the lane, turnaround jumper, fadeaway in the lane, Domask knocking down a fadeaway jumper in the lane, ties it up again at 20, well 25 apiece, but tied up again folks, here gets the high screen, here's Hepburn and a blocking, or a, off the ball foul by Justin Harmon. So Harmon with the foul, and they're in the bonus. Wisconsin is in the bonus. I think both teams are in the bonus. 25 apiece. I'll pop this up in there. They make that first free throw. Old Chucky Hepburn. 22 points last game against Purdue. Four assists, three steals, and upset. Over Purdue, knocking down the second free throw. Gives Wisconsin the two-point lead. 27-25 with six minutes left here in the first half. Harmon picking up his second foul for Illinois. Here's Damask in the lane. Kicks it out to Hawkins. Hawkins top of the key. Bounce pass to Shannon and a foul by Crawl. But you guys, I'm always chilling. I do play-by-play -play radio, old-school podcast radio. I cannot show the game. But there's many other channels out there. I'm just, I know nothing. I'm, I'm really, I'm not special. I'm nothing. I just, I'm over here having fun with a hobby of mine. If you guys want to listen in, listen in. If you guys want to chat, chat. But just keep it respectful. No spam, no toxicity. No trolls out there. I barely got a couple hundred subs. If you guys like it, if you guys sub, so be it. I, I appreciate you guys hanging out. You guys already know what it is. You guys only knew how much fun I'm having over here. This is a hobby of mine. Passing a little time. Enjoying the time. Getting it on record that I witnessed this. Watched it. I did play-by-play. -play because I love sports. I love basketball. I love play-by-play. -play. All my life. 
Oh man, what a day. Here's Terrence Shannon Jr. knocking down two free throws, tying the game up at 27 apiece with six minutes left here in the first half. Here's a drive by Hepburn. Hepburn in the lane off the glass and in. Gives Wisconsin a two-point lead. And a steal by Hepburn. Gets it to Kroll. Hepburn up top. Gets it to Gilmore. Gilmore to Klesman. Klesman down low to Gilmore. In the post. Posting up Domas. Gilmore down low. And turns it over. Gilmore... Trying to find Klesman on the wing. Throws it out of bounds. Turnover, Wisconsin. 29-27. Three steals, Wisconsin. One for Illinois. Here's a high screen from Hawkins. And a block and foul by Klesman. So Klesman with the foul. And I think more free throws for Illinois. So both teams are in the bonus with 5 minutes and 24 seconds left here in the first half. Klesmet picks up his second foul. Oh, you're not on the first. I missed it. So 29-28. I was looking at the stats. Let me pull the stats real quick. So DeMoss knocks it down. Six points, two rebounds. DeMoss, second free throw. Knocking it down. 29 apiece, you guys. Another tie game with 5.20 left here in the first half. Both teams are in the bonus. Five for five free throws, Wisconsin. Eight for ten free throws, Illinois. Here's Thor up top. Door driving in the lane, off the glass, missed it, and offensive putback by Gilmore on a tip in. Wisconsin with a two point lead. Here's Domas up top on the wing. Domas driving in the lane, rattles in and out, and good goes to the ground. Gilmore goes to the ground, and a foul in the play. And Luke Good. Is a little bit hurt there, but he got helped up. Luke Good comes flying over everyone's back and gets fouled. Or fouls Gilmore. So 31-29, second foul for Good now. And again, West, both teams are in the bonus, so Wisconsin shooting free throws. I think it'll be good with 4.51 left here in the first half. Let's update that, 31. So 31-29, we get a drink real quick. You guys are making me drink over here. Got to make me have a little bit of fun over here. Man. Am I funny? Something funny to you? Having fun over here. Having fun on a Sunday. Passing a little time. Happy as a clam. It's a hobby. This is, I don't get paid no nothing. You guys already know. This is amazing. Witnessing the Big Ten Championship game. Play-by-play -play announcing it. Man, come on. Not too many Not too many of y'all do this out here. It's, it's amazing, you guys. Everyone should do this. Shout out to all play-by-play -play hosts out there. Here's Gilmore. Knocking down the second free throw. 33-29. Four-point lead for Wisconsin. 4.50 left. DeMoss going to bring it past half court. Here's DeMoss. Top of the key. Hands it off to Shannon. Shannon back down low to DeMoss. And a back door. DeMoss. Splitting the D backdoor cut. Shannon with the beautiful dime. And the line I cut it to two. Here's Gilmore. 16 points in the paint for Wisconsin. 12 for a line I. Here's crawling. Hands it off to Blackwell. Back to Gilmore. Over to Store. Back to Gilmore. Top of the key. Shot clock running down. Seven. Gilmore jacks it up from top of the key. Back iron missed it. Big rebound. 
by Dre Gibbs Lawhorn, the freshman for Illini checking in, and here's Shannon at the other end taking it to the lane and getting fouled. And Shannon will shoot two. 33-31. So Dre Gibbs Lawhorn, the freshman checking in. Hang on one sec. 33-31. Black. Four minutes left here in the first half and a timeout. I didn't see who called that timeout. But a timeout on the floor. So I think Illini has two left. We'll find out here. But there's... Let me update my stat line down below. So 33-31. Refresh. Update that game high stat here. So Store is still leading score with 11. Three rebounds for Rodgers. Three for Harmon. Four rebounds for Store. Uh, let's see, assist. So there's a lot of players with assists. I leave the mask with one assist. That's good. Steals. Let's see, Rogers. Two steals for store. I put two. Two for stone. Block party. Anybody with two? Nope. A bunch with block party with one. All right, that's good. All right, so I got score up above. I got game high stats down below. All right, so let me go to game stats. So four minutes left here in the first half in the Big Ten Tournament Championship game. A line I trail by two. 33-31. Against the Wisconsin Badgers. Wisconsin Badgers are shooting 12 of 27. 44% right now from the field. 2 of 6 downtown. 7 of 7 from the free throw line in Wisconsin so far with 4 minutes left here in the first half. Illinois shooting 10 of 23. 43.5% from the field. 3 for 7 downtown. Almost 43% again. 8 for 10 from the free throw line. Again, both teams are in the bonus with 4 minutes to go here in the first half. Illinois turned it over five times. Wisconsin, four. Six offensive rebounds for Wisconsin. Nine offensive rebounds for Illinois. Fifteen overall for both teams. Fifteen rebounds apiece. Five assists for Wisconsin. Two for Illinois. One steal. Three blocks for Illinois. Four steals. No blocks for Wisconsin so far. So this is it, the Big Ten. Let me put this over here. They're coming back here. They're commercial break, TV timeout, blah, blah, blah. But it's Women's History Month right now, folks. Caitlin Clark and company in Minneapolis. We were here not too long ago. They get the Big Ten Championships. Illinois Hawk. And Illinois is here today to, for the men's Big Ten Championship. But Iowa Hawkeyes, the women's Big Ten Championship. Caitlin Clark, most career points in NCAA history. You guys already know all the other accolades, man. I can't wait for NCAA tournament and more March Madness coming up here. I'll be calling all the games. If you guys like it, hit that sub. Hit that like if you want to. I don't get paid no nothing. This is the hobby of mine. I pass a little time doing play-by-play. -play. I'm enjoying it. I love doing this, you guys. And March Madness is here. If you guys want, hit that sub. Hit that like. It gives me a little motivation. But regardless, I'll still be out here doing it because I'm loving this. As Terrence Shannon Jr. at the free throw line. He got seven points, missing the first free throw. A line I trail by two with four minutes left here in the first half. Here's Shannon. Second free throw, knocks it down. Oop, lost my head over her hand. All right, so 33-32. 7% free throw line for Wisconsin. 9 of 12 for Illinois. <clears throat> and McGee will take it past half court. Just it off to Klesnick. Back to Crawl. Back up top to Hepburn. Hepburn at the free throw line. Step back jumper. Free throw. Knocking it down. Chucky Hepburn. 
A beautiful juke move, step back, jumper from the free throw line, knocking it down, give Wisconsin a three-point lean, Hepburn with 22 points against the overtime upset over Purdue last game. Good old Chucky, man. I like Chucky Hepburn a lot. Here's Karen Shannon Jr. in the lane, off the glass, and in, drive over the seven-footer Kroll. Shannon with nine now. Actually, Shannon got ten. Shannon with ten now. Two for four from the field. Here's Gilmore. Hands it off the store. So one point game, Wisconsin 35-34 with the lead right now. Here's Store with the drive, plowing through Shannon and going for dunk in a foul by Danger. But AJ Store just plowing right through Terrence Shannon Jr. A football move and going up for the dunk. A strong move. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Oh man. AJ Store, but he got fouled by Danger. <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. AJ Store at the free throw line. <laughs> that was awesome. Knocking down the free throw. 36-34. 12 points, 4 rebounds, 4 and 9 shooting for AJ. And he rattles home the second, 37-34. There's Domas, top of the key. Gets it to Shannon. Double team, Shannon with the drive, free throw line, juke move. Euro step, rattles in and out, rebound, danger. Gets it to Stewart, er. Gets it to Gibbs. Gibbs with the drive up and in. Dre Gibbs Lawhorn with the drive in an up and under reverse layup. Beautiful move by Dre. And a traveling at the other end by Hepburn. A one point lead for Wisconsin now with 224 to go in the first half. But Dre Gibbs Lawhorn. With a beautiful move over three defenders of Wisconsin. Both teams with five turnovers now after that last turnover by Wisconsin. A one-point game, 37-36. Here's Shannon on the wing, guarded by Hepper. Shannon, juke move, step back three, short and out of bounds. Wisconsin ball, one-point lead, Wisconsin. <laughs> You guys hit that like button, hit that sub, hit that sub button if you want, hit it one time. Here's Hepburn with the highest screen from Kroll, Hepburn kicks it out, looking for Gilmore, back to Hepburn, Hepburn on the baseline, driving, kicks it out to Kroll, shot clock running down, eight, hands it off to Store. Store top of the key, three, Store with the three ball, 40 to 36, Wisconsin with the four point lead with 130 left here in the first half. Here's Damas, gets a high screen from Danger. Damas kicks it up to Haw Hawkins. Hawkins looking down low, can't find Danger. Gets it to Gibbs on the wing. Gibbs over to Hawkins. Hawkins looking for Danger, still looking for Danger. Hawkins with the drive, tapped away. Kicks it out to Gibbs for three, top of the key. Gibbs back iron. Big rebound by Kroll, the seven-footer. Gets it to Hepburn. Hepburn, pass half court. Hepburn, guarded by Damas, crossing him over. Hepburn, baseline. Long swing past the store. Store jacking up a three from the wing. Short. Rebound. Danger. With 50 seconds left here in the half. Kicks it off to Shannon. Shannon with the drive and transition off the glass. Turns Shannon Jr. Up and in. And Alani cut the lead to two. With 50 seconds left here in the first half. 40 to 38. But Terrence Shannon Jr. with a beautiful Euro step. Around the big old seven footer and a TV timeout. <laughs> I think that was a 12th point by Shannon. Hang on. Let me update my stats real quick. Whew, man. That was a nice Euro step. So, Euro step after Euro step, folks. We're going all around the world now with these Euro steps coming around here. 40 to 38, 50 seconds or 56 seconds left here in the first half. Another TV timeout. I think uh, Shannon's now the leading scorer. Hang on. 12 points. Nope. 
store with 16. Let me update that real quick. But we're going to start for the TV timeout. Game high stats, 16 for store. Four rebounds store. That's good. Danger with four rebounds off the bench for Illini. Oh, man. i got to catch my breath over here. Whew. See, Crow with two dimes. He leads everyone with dimes. Okay, we'll put that in there. Okay, Crow with two. Here we go. We're back. We're back. I'm missing it. Dang it. Then Gummit, here's Crow up top, gets it to Hepburn, Hepburn free throw line, step back jumper from the elbow, rims in and out, rebound, danger, his fifth rebound of the half, here's 30 seconds left, Shannon jacks up a three from the wing, Shannon knocking it down, giving Illinois a one point lead with 25 seconds left here in the first half, and the shot clock is turned off, a line eye up one, and a timeout on the floor, Wisconsin, Illini up one with 21.6 seconds left here in the first half. Woo! Terrence Shannon Jr. just coming down, jacking up a three from the wing again, knocking it down. <laughs> oh, man. You guys at halftime, I'll be running through some stats, everything for you guys. You guys already know, man. Let me save some of my voice real quick. Woo! It's amazing. It's amazing. I love doing this. Play by play. Come on, man. 35 seconds left. 41-40. Illini with a one-point lead here in the Big Ten Tournament Championship game here 2024 on a beautiful Sunday afternoon on March 17th, 2024. I wish y'all a beautiful day. If you guys listen listening in around the world, in the future as well, I wish you a beautiful day as well in the future. You already know. What an amazing day. Big 10 championship. Here's an inbound pass. Here's McGee. 15 on the clock. Hands it off to Gilmore. Gilmore dribbling around top of the key. Hands it off to Store. Store with a drive. In the lane. Up and finger roll. Missed it. Rimmed in and out. Rebound Hawkins. Four on the clock. Hawkins half court. Jumper. Hawkins rimmed in and out. He thought he was fouled. But we're going to halftime. 41-40, Illini with the one-point lead at the half. But Hawkins, woo, Hepburn just got away with one right there at half court. Hawkins goes tumbling down, rolling over, doing a barrel roll, rattles in and out off the glass. Hawkins almost getting a buzzer beater. Woo, man, what a half. What a half. Lead changes, ties. Everything. I'm going to run through everything here. I'm going to run through game high stats, team stats, everything for y'all. 41-40. Illinois with the one point lead at half, you guys. <laughs> it's amazing. Man. Let me pop halftime up in there. Halftime. Blah, blah, blah. Let me put halftime. Put some of this in there. There we go. How you like that? Put some of this in there. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Halftime. Blah, blah. All right. Halftime. 41-40. Blah, blah, blah. Let me update my game high stats down below. You guys are awesome. Wherever you guys are listening in, you guys are, you guys are amazing. If you guys are just listening in, lurking around, wanting to hear always chilling, just chit-chatting and... Man, I know nothing. That's all there is to it. I know nothing. But I know I'm having fun, and I know I'm a real good dancer. Man, I know I'm, a, I'm having fun over here. I'm doing play-by-play -play for the Big Ten Tournament Championship game. Come on, man. Always chilling, doing play-by-play, -play, announcing, commentating. And we're all having a watch party here on Sunday afternoon. A line I lead by one. You guys are amazing. I just want you guys to know I have a beautiful. You guys are having a beautiful day. I hope you're having a beautiful day. And if you're listening in the future, if you stumble upon always chilling, you're midway through the game. Maybe you skip forward and you're thinking you'd be watching the game. You're thinking to be seeing something on the visuals and this and that. But no, always chilling does an old school podcast radio. Think of it. Just close your eyes and listen to the game. I'm always chilling here for you. I'm doing play by play, announcing. I try to give you the most beautiful visual of the game. Every pass, every shot, every rebound, every dive out of bounds, every timeout, every coach call, every fan look upon the court. 
I try to give you guys everything out there. Everything. I give it my all. Man. And I, I don't get paid. I don't get nothing. I just do this for the fun of it. For the hobby of it. Just to pass a little time to enjoy it with you guys. And sure enough, I'm enjoying it here. It's only almost 3.30 right now at Central Time on March 17, 2024. Man. I wish you guys a beautiful day. But again, in the future, I say this all the time. In the future, I wish you a beautiful day as well. That's what it's all about right now. Basketball, play-by-play, -play, NCAA, March Madness, Big Ten Tournament Championship game. Illini lead by one. Let's start right there. Illini shooting 14 of 31 from the field, 45%. Wisconsin shooting 14 of 32, about 44%. But actually, let me finish this off real quick. So 15 points for Shannon, 16 for Kledgeman. What? Oh, no, store for 16. Okay, so rebounds. <sighs> yeah, let me update my stats here. Danger with five boards. Let me put danger in there. Oh, man. There we go. Danger. I'm going to update my, my stat line on the my awesome graphic. Let me unplug my charger. My phone's getting a little hot. It's getting hot in here. So take up all your clothes. All I got is on a pair of shorts. Like, that's why I can't show myself, like, you guys, I get litty, I get hype. I, this, I mean, I'm the hype machine over here. That's because I love play-by-play. -play. I love sports. I, lo I love it, you guys. I love it. Always chilling. Loves it. But I just, I take my shirt off here. I got a hairy chest. I'm like Austin Powers over here. I'm like, you guys, I mean, I would show myself, but I mean, I'll show myself. I mean, you guys want, you guys want to see me, just go ahead and check out my other IRL streams. I'm an IRL streamer. I live stream this and that. I cook. I do everything. I go traveling. I go to the mountains. I, oh man, I live stream this and that. That's all there is to it. Nothing special, man. Just having fun out here. But danger. Let me put danger in there. Actually, I'll be going to Yellowstone this summer. I'm, I'm going to Yellowstone. I'm going everywhere this summer. This summer, summer, summer time. Oh man, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, man. But Danger with five rebounds, he leads all rebounders. Assist Domas with three. Let's see, Store with four. Let me put Stow. Put Stow with five. Boom. That's just good. Assist or a steals. Store with two. A block party. Good with one. A bunch of bunch of. Illinois in the block party. Three blocks for Illinois, none for Wisconsin. That's good. I update the stats down below. That's good enough. You guys are you guys are spoiled out there. You guys are getting too much out there. You guys are asking for too much. You're getting, you're getting too, too much out there. All right, there's my stats up. I my got score up above. I got my game high stats down below. But I'm over here whispering in the ear, giving you some. Oh man, I wanna give you some love. Oh man, I'm done singing. I done went through my. I go through a little singing jam session before every stream so I can loosen up my vocals and have fun. And I love singing. Sing, singing's good for you guys, soul man. Just go out there and sing. Just sing like nobody's listening. And, man, just yell it out. Just yell it out. Scream it out. Anyways, let me get to the game stats real quick. We're back at it. Illinois, 41-40. A one-point lead over Wisconsin here in the Big Ten Tournament Championship game. We're at halftime. I'm always chilling your play by play announcer. Man. I think I'm I, I might be done saying that because you guys already know I'm always chilling. I gotta be done saying that. Man. But Illinois 14 to 31, 45 percent shooting. Wisconsin 14 to 32, 44. Wisconsin 3 of 8 downtown, about 37.5% from the three-point line. Nine for nine from free throws, Wisconsin. Nine for twelve, Illinois. Illinois, 4 of 11 downtown, 36%, about 36 and a half. But the offensive rebound by both these teams has been astounding in the first half. Wisconsin with six offensive rebounds in the first half. Illinois with eight offensive rebounds in the first half. Illinois with 20 rebounds overall. Wisconsin with 17. But folks, no, there's not much boxing out going. There's a lot of scoring going on. So both these, about... I mean, Illinois is on their pace. They're 11th in the country in scoring, 84 points a game in scoring, 11th in the country. 
they're on their pace to hit that. But right now, there's, I'm not seeing much box out. I'm seeing some nitty gritty. I'm seeing some defense. I'm not seeing much defense. I mean, as far as like contesting shots and blocking. I mean, Illinois, you got you're gonna have danger over there. You're gonna have good over there. Do you, do you know you're gonna get everything out of Luke Good? You know Luke Good's gonna come off the bench and give you everything. Gibbs, Harmon, Danger off the bench. They're all playing amazing. They're all playing well. I mean, speaking of well, Danger's leading everyone with rebounds. Five rebounds for Danger off the bench for Illini. Man. Let's get to stats real quick. So, anywho, AJ Store leading all scores with 16 points. He's got four rebounds, two steals, and an assist. He's shooting five of 12. A.J. Store, two of five downtown, four of four from the stripe. Oh, A.J. Store. I think, yeah, he's only a sophomore. Yeah, A.J. Store is only a sophomore. Man. Um, but Terrence Shannon Jr., 15 points. He leads all Illinois. Yeah, rebound, uh, assist, four of eight, shooting two of three downtown. Uh, but let's get the Illinois stats here. But nine points, three assists, two rebounds for Damask at the half. Three for four, shooting three, four from the stripe. Ty Rogers, the other starter, five points, three rebounds. A steal on a block for Ty. Two for five, shooting one for, one for two from the stripe. Hawkins with three points, three boards, and an assist and a big old block by Hawkins. Man, I like Hawkins. I'm going to miss him. Coleman Hawkins, I know you're going to the NBA draft. I know Shannon's going, man. Let me get to both seniors. I mean, we got four seniors in the in the starting lineup. Man. They're gone, though. Hawkins gone. Shannon gone. Shout out Gary or wherever you may be gone. Like, maybe D-League, maybe overseas. But send yourself. Send that mixtape overseas. Send it to some coaches, man. Make yourself some. Man. I like Quincy Gary. I like Domas. I like Wisconsin. I like Hepburn. I like Chuck Hepburn a lot. You guys, let it be known. Chuck Hepburn, 22 points. He dropped for his. The upset win over Purdue. Man, I'm getting carried away here, but let's get back to the Illinois stats here. But Gary and Hawkins with three points at the half. Gary with three, uh, one for two shooting downtown. Danger off the bench, two points, five rebounds for Danger off the bench, two offensive. Two points, three rebounds for Harmon, two points, one board for Gibbs off the bench. That was amazing, two points. Dre Gibbs Long Lawhorn. He just drove to the lane. Just just a beautiful drive. Just man, up and under over three defenders. Gibbs Lawhorn. What a drive that was. I, I ain't gonna forget that here in the Big Ten championship game. Lawhorn with that drive. And Terrence Shannon Jr. jacking up threes on the pull-up threes coming down. Who's gonna forget those, man? Come on. But Harmon, two points, three boards. Gibbs, a two points and a board. Off the bench, good. Two fouls and a rebound and a big old block for good off the bench. For Illinois, leading by one at the half, 41-40. But let's get the Wisconsin stats off the bench. Gilmore, seven points, two rebounds for big old Gilmore. Off the bench, and Gilmore will probably come back next year, Carter. He's only a junior, I think, right? Uh, yeah, Carter's only a junior. McGeezy Jr., a lot of juniors. There's only one senior on the, on the team, I think, yeah. I mean, as far as starters, uh, Tyler Wall's a senior. So maybe Crawl will come back. I mean, Klesman, you know they're all coming back. You know Hepburn's going to want to come back. You know Store's going to be there, AJ Store. Leading scorer, uh, Hepburn's going to come back. Um, I mean, leading scorer, uh, Store's going to come back. No doubt, you know Store's going to come back. Um... But let's get the Wisconsin stats real quick, and we'll jump over to some other games. The SEC game is over with. Auburn got upset. I mean, I want to say upset because Florida, they didn't get upset. Why am I, why am I saying upset? <laughs> Auburn handled their business. That's all there is to it in the SEC championship game. Let's get to that. Auburn, number 12 in the country, handled their business at home. They won by 19 over Florida. Florida, one of the best defending teams in the nation. They're holding their opponents to like 60 points or something. If I, my memory serves me correctly, Florida is one of the best defending teams in the country, but they gave up 86 points today in the SEC final game. Auburn wins it by 19 over Florida. Actually, let me get this the full scoreboard real quick. I'm gonna, so we're still at the half. We're still commercial break. TV timeout. 
commentating, they're over there talking away. I'm gonna chit chat in the way with you with you guys as well. I'm gonna go through some other division one uh, championship games today because so this is selection Sunday. We're here, folks. We're here in the middle of March Madness at Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Attendance nineteen thousand some odd fans. Look at Chuck over there, Charles Barkley. I'm just watching commercials over here. All right, so other championship games going on right now. The American Athletic Conference Championship game. UAB with the U's dominating lead. They're up 59-34 over Temple. Man, Vasquez with 27 points for UAB. Miller 16 points, 3 steals for Temple. But they're down 25 with second half just starting. 59-34 in the American Athletic Conference. Conference championship game. It's the only other division game going on right now. Division one game. As there are finals in the books already. Broom and Auburn handled their business in the SEC final. Broom dropped 19 and 11 rebounds. Three blocks as well to go along with it. Beat Florida by 19, 86 to 67 in Nashville and Bridgestone Arena. Man, Yale gets an automatic bid. To the NCAA tournament, folks. Yale over Brown in the Ivy League final championship game. Wolf with 9 points, 13 rebounds, and 4 blocks for Wolf. As Yale will be in the NCAA tournament. Brown falls by 1. That was a good game. Yale with the buzzer beater. I was watching a little bit of that. Yale with a buzzer beater victory. I was watching the VCU uh, DeQuinsne. Or DeQuinsne. Man, I can't pronounce that. I'm going to figure it out one of these days. Dequizny, Dequizny. Oh, man, but they won by six. 57-51, Dequizny. Man, they got an automatic bid. They're in there. They won the Athletic or the Atlantic 10 championship game today. Those were the only Division I games, folks. This, These are the last two Division I games of the year right now. Illinois, Wisconsin, UAB, Temple. I'm always chilling doing play-by-play -play of the Illinois-Wisconsin Big Ten Championship game. We're at the half. Illinois up one. I'll pull the box score back up. I'm going to take a quick break real quick. Take a drink. Maybe pop that one up. I don't know. Did I already pop that one up? Let me get it. Yeah, we'll do that one. All right, maybe we can do another one. But tip off any second now. I got I to gotta go uh, walk away for a second. Walk away, like all this walk away. I was born 10,000 years ago. Ain't nothing in this world, I don't know. I'll be right back. Hey, hold on one sec, I'll be right back. Second half, I'll start and play you guys a quick, a quick tune. Uh, let's play something happy. A little happy, happy song here. Uh, maybe this. That's a little happy song, there you go. Cooks in the kitchen, I'll be right back. Illinois F1, second half about to start. I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Oh shoot, looks like that started. Oh shoot, it started without me. No. It started without me. Alright, I'm back. I'm sorry you guys. We turned this off. So second half started. My apologies. So 42-41, I guess they hit a shot. Hang on, let me turn second half. Second half. Alonzo in the chat. Shout out, Alonzo. Hang on, let me see second half. So 43-40. I missed two shots. I can't believe I missed two shots here. One more sec. So 43, and here is Claw. Or Crawl. Claw. Here's Crawl for three at the other end. That's <laughs> the Claw. So Crawl. Crawl. Hits a three. Is it a crawl or crawl? I don't know. Alonzo in the chat. Shout out Alonzo, Cap, everyone out there, RC, everyone out there in the chat, everyone. If I missed you, shout out mods. You guys already know what it is. And there's a shot made at the other end. I'm just missing everything now. Here's a shot made by Illinois. So 45 apiece, eight ties, 10 lead changes. And there's crawl down low with the hook. 47, 45. It's moving quick now. I gotta keep up. I gotta get a drink here real quick. I gotta get back in my groove. See, I'm looking down at my phone too much. Hang on. Here's a turnover by Illinois. Eight teams. So only two minutes gone. Hang on one sec. Alright. Here's, here's, here's wall down low. A wall off the glass and in over Shannon. So 49-45. Ooh, I might want another one of those. Hit me again, bartender. One more of those. Oh, man. I said, look, man, come down here. Woo, it's halftime, man. I took a little bit of a halftime break. A little bit late. Dropped my hat. Oh, man. Here's the mess down low in the lane. Turn around, fade away from the jumper. Over, Klesmet. 49-47. One more. Salute, you guys. Happy St. Patty's Day, you guys. Cheers to everyone listening in to Always Chillin'. Amazing day, Big Ten Championship game. Cheers, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful. So up and in, Wisconsin take a four-point lead. 51-47. Three minutes gone here in the second half. Whew. Let me take a quick breather. Here's Gurrier in the lane. Kicks it off to Hawkins. Step back. Gets it to Dumas. <clears throat> oh, man. I'm feeling my oats right now. Feeling my oats on St. Patty's Day right now. Here's Dumas with a fadeaway jumper. Baseline knocking it down over Klesmet. A fadeaway jumper. Turnaround by Dumas on the baseline. Five for five shooting Wisconsin. Four for four Illinois here. Here's Hepburn in the lane, up and reverse layup over Rodgers. 53-49. I'm not even going to worry about updating the score on the screen because it's going too fast out there. Here's the mass pull-up jumper, baseline, missed it. Rebound, Storr. He's pushing it. So a little bit more tempo here. His Storr pull-up three, top of the key, missed it. Rebound, Hepburn. You guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you want. I'm always chilling. I'm having fun out here. It's a hobby of mine. I don't get paid no nothing. Here's Hepburn. Fade away. Baseline jumper. Knocking it down. And one over Rogers. Hepburn with the fadeaway jumper on the baseline. Woo! What a shot over Rogers. God, that looked like me. I love doing fadeaway jumpers in the baseline, like turn around, like boxing them down, banging them, banging them low, and just fading away jumper on the baseline, turn around, spin move. Woo! We got ourselves a timeout. Oh, man, hang on one sec. It's amazing, you guys. Second half just started. Second half just started. We're only like four minutes gone, and it's already like getting like they're up tempo. Like they, you can tell at halftime, both coaches came out they're like you know what we got a running gun here to start the half and sure enough show sure enough 55 hang on what's that 55 i'm falling behind here 55 
So 55.49. Hey, what's that? So it's still commercial break. 59. 55.49. Black. All right, we're good. You guys good? You guys good? You good, bro? You good, Alonzo? You good, Cap? You good? Everyone out there. Everyone out there listening. And I wish you a beautiful day. You guys good? You guys good? Because I'm good. I'm having a beautiful day. If you're listening in the future as well, I wish you a beautiful day as well. Because right now, I'm good. I'm always chilling, doing play-by-play, announcing the 2024 Big Ten Championship game play-by-play announcer. We're all having a watch party. We're all commentating. Y'all are in the comments. I'm over here commentating. Giving you my all, just having fun out here. I don't get, I'm just, man, it's a hobby of mine. I'm almost a hundred games in, almost a year in calling games. I'm just having fun, passing a little time. What a way to pass time right now. You guys, just think about it. Think about something that you can pass like two hours a week or something like that. Think about what you love. Think about what you love to do. I love play by play. I love sports. I love watching the game. And I got into play by play because I love commentating and, I love watch parties. Shout out all the play-by-play watch party hosts out there. You guys are doing it. You guys already know what it is. It's all about the fun. It's all about the love of the game. The love of sports. The love of NCAA. 55-49. Wisconsin with a six-point lead. 15-40 to go here in the game. Commercial break. Man. What a beautiful day right now. Here. In Minneapolis, Minnesota, Target Center, 19,000 plus some odd fans in attendance. What you want? Two of those. Combined this half shooting, 11 for 13 combined. Good shooting. Yeah, I think Hepburn shooting free throws. Ten points, five assists for Hepburn. Shooting the free throw, knocking it down. So 56-49. Ty Rogers with seven points, three fouls now for Ty. Here's Hawkins up top. <clears throat> Let me pull up my stats real quick. Down low. Hawkins with the drive off the glass. Uncontested. Hawkins with the drive. Oh, Coleman, senior. Shout out Coleman. He's going into the NBA draft. Wish him the best of, best of luck. Here's Hepburn, top of the key. Gets a high screen from Kroll. Hepburn kicks it out to Kroll, top of the key. Three. Kroll, back iron, missed it. Long rebound. Klesman gets it down a little wall, off the glass and in. Klesman with an offensive rebound and dish to Steven for the layoff, the glass knee, Klesmith coming up hobbling and holding that left knee. And actually, I was holding my left knee today. My left knee's been hurting today. I've been, I've been balling three straight days. Got to get out there. I got to play some basketball here. Shannon with a step back three, back iron, missed it, and tipped out of bounds. Wisconsin ball leading by seven, 58, 51. And Klesmith, I think, will come out of the game. He's hobbling around. I think he might have banged knees. Yeah, sure enough, he banged knees with the mask right there. 58 51. Hang on, one sec. 58 51. And down low and up and in is Hepburn. And one, I think. Sure enough, at the other end, Hepburn with the drive off the glass and in. Over Hawkins. Whistles for the call. And one, Hepburn. Folks, Wisconsin with their biggest lead of the night. Nine points now. 13 points for Hepburn. Five assists, five and seven shooting. Hepburn converting the three-point play. 61-51. A double-digit lead for Wisconsin, you guys. What? Bruh. Hepburn with 999 career points for old Chucky Hepburn. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Here's Dre Gibbs Lawhorn. Kicks it out to Shannon. Shannon with the drive. Baseline off the glass and fouled by Storr. And Shannon will shoot free throws. Trailing by 10 Illini. 
with 14-16 left in the ball game. Woo! This is amazing, you guys. Big Ten Championship game. What a game. Wisconsin lead by 10. Shannon at the line, 15 points, knocking it down. First free throw, and in comes big old Dane Danger. Checking in, team leading, actually leading the whole, leading everyone in rebounds, I think, with five right now. Big old Danger, I like Danger. Hope he comes back next year. He's only a junior, so hopefully he comes back next year. A lot of guys, even for like, I hope Crow comes back for Wisconsin. Like, all these juniors, come on back. Klesman, let's do it again, Max. Let's do it again, Max. I like Klesman. He was getting up in Edie. He was getting up in Edie's business last game. Man, shout out Klesman. But Wisconsin, 11 for 11 from the free throw line. 11 for 14 for Illinois. Cut the lead to 8. Here's Hepburn up top. Get the high screen from Wall. Hepburn, step back 3. Baseline, short. Big rebound. Tapped around and rebound Blackwell. Kicks it out to Store. Store to drive in the lane. Running floater. Missed it. Rebound tipped around and Shannon gets it. Kicks it out to Garrier for three. Garrier on the wing for three. A five-point lead for Wisconsin. Here's Wall. Gets it to Craw. Store back to Wall. Back to Blackwell. Blackwell guarded by Domask. Gets it to Wall. Gets a screen from Craw. Wall driving. Plows through Garrier in an offensive foul by Wall. Plowing through Garrier. <laughs> it's like, bro. He just lowered his shoulder like a running back through a linebacker. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> bro. <laughs> 61 56. <laughs> oh my God. What was Walt doing right there? Oh man, 6156. Here we go. Here's Shannon on the drive in the lane off the glass. Knock it in. Over crawl. And it's a three point one possession game now. 6158. I'm still thinking about that plow. Whew, man. 7 0 run for Alana in the last buck 30. Here's Hepburn on the baseline. Up and under. Reverse layup. Beautiful layup. Wisconsin with a five point lead now. 63 58. Here's Domask. Gets it to Danger. Danger on the drive in the lane. On the block off the glass and in. Over crawl and one. Danger going to the line to shoot the free throw. 63 60. A line eye cutting it to a single digit again. Right when they got the double figures there. 10 point lead. A line I knew and played with sense of emergency. Urgency. Not emergency. Urgency. 63 60. Danger with four points. Five rebounds. He's going to the stripe to convert a three point play. Let me update that. 63 60. Danger at the line. Danger. Rattles in, cutting the lead to a single possession, a two-point lead now for Wisconsin with 12-20 left in the game, in the Big Ten Championship game. Here's Thor on the drive, turn around, spin move in the lane over Danger, back iron and Danger whistles for the foul, and Thor will shoot free throws at the other end with 12-14 left in the game. Look at old Klesman. Warming up on the treadmill over there. Klesman banging knees with Domas. Klesman out of the game. And at the stripe is A.J. Storr. The sophomore. And he knocks down the first. A.J. with 17 points now. Five rebounds. Four, uh, one assist and three steals. 17 points actually. Yeah, that's what it said. Five rebounds. Woo! Here's Thor, back iron, the next. Hawkins with the rebound. And Domas can bring it up. First missed free throw of the day for Wisconsin. The 12 of 13, 12 of 15 for Illinois. And, re and knocked around and stolen away by Blackwell. Gets it out to Hepburn. I think that was Blackwell. Yeah, Blackwell with that steal. 
Set for an eight turnovers now for Illinois. Six for Wisconsin. Here's Set for getting the set to Kroll. Kroll to Gilmore. Gilmore on the wing. Hands it off to Blackwell. Blackwell driving baseline over good. And he has turned it over. I don't know if it was stolen or blocked. But here's Hawkins in transition dunk. Hawkins with the dunk at the other end. Cut and lead to one with 11.20 left. Here's Thor in the baseline, reverse layup blocked, and another foul by Danger. And Thor going to the line, shoot free throws. Woo! Let me get a drink, you guys. This is back and forth now. Oh, man, this is amazing. 11 22. Quincy's over there crying, my cat. Oh, he's awesome. You guys listening in, you guys are awesome. My cat's crying. I already gave him breakfast. He's, it's not even dinner time. It's only not even four o'clock. He'll get dinner time around five o'clock or something. Five oh somewhere. Commercial break, you guys. TV timeout. Commercial break. My cat's crying over there for dinner time, but we're still an hour away from dinner time for my cat. But 1130 left here in the game. The Big Ten tournament championship game. A line I trail by one. 64-63, Illini trailed by as much as 10, you guys. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. I'll go through some stats real quick because I got to get my stat line though below, but I'm going to update that. Boom, second half, 64-63, let's get it on. Store with 17, leads off, actually, Shannon with 19. So hold up, wait a minute. Let me update that score a minute. Shannon. 19 black. So Shannon 19 leads all scores. Uh, Store with 17. Domask with 15. Big old Crow with 11. Hepburn with 16. I uh, see rebounding leader. Store with 5. Danger with five. I'll leave it at Danger. Danger is just dominating the boards on off the bench, but he's got a couple fouls. He got three fouls. Danger with three fouls. Store. Let's see. Assist. Domas with six assists. He leads all assists. Domas. Let me put that up in there. I'm updating my awesome graphics down below. Domas. I'll put Domsk. <laughs> Domsk. <laughs> Here goes six assists. Steals. Three steals for Store and Hepper. <laughs> what? Put, let me put in my hat. Hat with three. Black. All right, Hawk, good. Two blocks for good. I thought he had an extra block. Two for good. You good? You good, bro? You good? Two blocks for good. You good, bro? Bro. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, eleven twenty-two left in the game, you guys. I'm going to take a quick breather. I'm going to take a quick shotty. Enjoy your night. Salute. St. Happy Pit. St. Patty's Day. What a beautiful day. One point lead, Wisconsin. Ah, hoo -ah. Man. Man. Simplify, you guys. Simplify. Hoo -ah. Chucky Hepburn, 16 points, 5 assists, 3 steals for Chucky. And A.J. Store at the line shooting the free throw with Wisconsin up one, 64-65, knocking down the first. Three fouls for Wisconsin, four for Illinois. Both teams had three timeouts remaining. And Store at the line shoot his second short rebound Hawkins, 65-63. Wisconsin with the two-point lead coming up on 11 minutes left here in the Big Ten Championship. Here's Damas, guarded by Klesman. So Klesman checked back in the game. Gets it up top to Hawkins, jacks up a three. Back iron, long rebound, Damas. Down low to Danger, Danger, one dribble and dunk. Danger with the Shaquille O'Neal type hammer. I like Dang Danger. I like Danger. <laughs> ties it up. 65 apiece. Nine ties. Ten lead changes. Wisconsin led by as much as ten. 
Illinois, their biggest lead was four. Here's Store on the drive, baseline reverse, missing it, rebound by Delmas, gets it to good, good to Shannon. Shannon past half court, back to good. 10.30 left in the game. Tie game, 65. Here's Shannon with the drive, Shannon with the driving in. Two-point lead, Illinois. Here's Klesman. Gets it to Craw. Craw to Hepburn. Down low. Trying to get Waugh, but Luke Good whistled for the foul. Down low. But Terrence Shannon Jr. with the drive. Layup. Finger roll over Waugh. Splits the D right past Klesman. Hobbling on his knee. 21 points now for Terrence Shannon Jr. He had 40, a Big Ten tournament record versus Nebraska last game. Here's Hepburn on the drive and a foul by Shannon. So these teams are coming up close on the on the um, uh, having a, a freeze right now, having a brain freeze. They're coming up on the bonus right now because there's six fouls right now for Illinois. 10 4 left here in the game. And in checks Ty Rogers. And I think Shannon will check out, get a quick breather. But Shannon, I think that's his second. Yeah, he's only got two fouls, Shannon. Three turnovers. He checks out. So here's Kroll. Banging down low with, with danger. Gets it off to Klesman. Top of the key, Klesman. Gets it back to Kroll. Top of the key. Over in the wing to Blackwell. Blackwell taking it baseline. Kicks it out to Klesman on the wing. Klesman three short. And a rebound. Danger. Gets it to Damas. Pass half court. Damas. Top of the key. Gets a high screen from Good. Damas. Double team. Gets it to Good. Top of the key. Three. Good. Rattles in and out. Rebound by Rogers. Offensive. Gets it to Damas. Damas for three. Top of the key. And Marcus Domas gives Illinois their biggest lead of the night, 70 to 65 with 917 left. Let's go. Woo. Let's go. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys, if you only want to. Illinois with a five point lead. They trailed by as many as a double-digit 10-point lead by Wisconsin. Now Illinois leads by 5. 70-65, to 65, a timeout on the floor. <laughs> With 9.20 left in the game, I can barely keep my eyes open. I had a long night, you guys. It was Saturday night. I called a doubleheader yesterday. And today I got up. I'm like, you know what? I got to call this the Big Ten Tournament Championship game. No doubt about it. Shout out Grabber Chicago. Shout out all the best play-by-play -play announcers in history. Vince Scully. Man, everyone out there. Oh, Harry Carey. All y'all. All the greatest out there. Man, I love play-by-play. -play. I've been doing it almost a year. Almost 100 games in. Here I am almost 100 games in doing the Big Ten Tournament Championship game. What a beautiful night. I wish y'all a beautiful night. You guys listening in. We're a commercial break. Illinois lead by 5. 70 to 65. 9. 17 left in the Big Ten Tournament Championship game. If you aren't hyped for this, it's a Sunday afternoon. Beautiful day. It was cold this morning. About 40 degrees. I had to turn my heat down or turn it up a little bit. I turned it down at right about midday. And now I turned it down again here for this game because I'm hype. I'm lit. I'm hot. My shirt's off. All I got in now is a pair of shorts right now. I'm play-by-play -play commentating. I'm always chilling here for you guys. Trying to give you a beautiful visual of the game. Trying to give you every pass, every shot, every rebound, every timeout on the floor. I'm trying to give you everything right now. All I'm looking at is a commercial break. My cat done ran out the room. That's Quincy on the screen. I'll give you guys a shout-out for Quincy, but he's not in there right now. I got his paperwork. I, I do it old school. I got paperwork. I got cat treats on my desk. I'm just watching the game, giving you guys a, a beautiful visual out there. I do it old school. I love old school play-by-play -play radio. I love it. I love just listening to the radio. I love you guys just out there. Throw me every stat. Just throw, throw, give it all to me. Just throw it all at me. I want to indulge in everything you got. Man, I'm an indulger. 
I get complacent. Believe me, I get complacent. Oh my gosh, I get complacent. I get bored. I get bored. I want to try new things. I want to learn. I want to create. You guys keep building out there. All the builders out there, keep building. Keep creating. Create, create, create. Man, like Bob Marley, man. Shout out, man. Everyone out there. Anyways, let's get back to play-by-play -play in sports and broadcast radio and play-by-play. -play. I'm always chilling. That's what it's about. You guys don't want to hear about no none of that. You guys want to hear Illinois, Wisconsin basketball, their largest lead of the game, Illinois, by five right now, 70-65 to 65 with 9.17 left. And A.J. Storrell passed it in. In the wall, back to... Trying to get it to Hepburn. Hepburn. Guarded by Good. Top of the key. Nine minutes left. Down low to Wall. Wall on a spin move and a foul by Ty Rogers. Down low. And I think they're shooting free throws, but Illinois, 10 plus point comebacks in each of the previous two games. Their largest deficit today was 10. Again, Wisconsin led by 10, but they. In their last two games, they tried by 10 or more. Come on. Illinois just laying it all out there. They're, it's this Big Ten basketball here. Here's Wall at the free throw line. 1-1. One, one, knocking down the first. Wall cutting the lead to four. And here's Quincy back in the house, folks. Quincy is back in the house. I got to show him. Shout out, Quincy. In the house. He came back up in here. Quincy, he's back. Oh man, I'll show you guys the game, but I can't right now. I'll show the score real quick. Blah. I'll show the score real quick. I'm watching the game. I got my score here. I got my update. I got my stats. Everything. And Quincy's over here. He's going to rest. He's going to chill right now. Quincy's back in the game. He's back at it. That's me right there. God, Quincy's amazing. You got to shout out Quincy. Let me get back to my game real quick. Uh, when Quincy came back, he heard me yelling over here. He heard me yelling and screaming up a storm over here. He's like, what are you doing over there? Four-point lead for Wisconsin, 70-66, 8.52 left. Here's Domas, top of the key. Domas dribbling around, 8.45 left in the game. Domas spin move, baseline up and off the glass. He is fouled. And Domas will shoot free throws for a line eye. They're up by four, the number... 13 team in the country. I was looking at, I said I was on AJ Store. So AJ Store, what's up for that call? How many she got? AJ Store, that's only a second. I'll say. Trying to see who's in foul trouble. Well, Walls got three. Crawl got two. Klesmet two. That's Store's second, I think. Um. What a momentum over Vore. Yeah, he's gonna. He got it, Dumas. He knocks them both down. 72, 66. Blah, blah. All right. 72, 66. Six point lead for Atlanta. Biggest lead of the game. Store and Wall both with three fouls. Rogers, good, and Danger all in foul trouble. Rogers with a four. And an inside drive and up and in off the glass by AJ Store. Quickly at the other end. And a four point lead in line eye with 820 left. Here's Domas backing down Klesman. Domas taking it baseline on the block spin move. Double team kicks it to Shannon in the corner for three. Shannon back iron missed it. Big rebound. Knocked around and Klesman clears it. Whew. Klesman will take a pass. Guarded by Hawkins. Mismaster gets it to crawl to Hepburn. Chucky taking it, driving. Step back jumper in the lane. Knocking it down. Actually just outside the lane. About a 12-footer for Hepburn. A beautiful shot. Gosh, I like Chucky Hepburn. Man, a beautiful shot, Chucky. A two-point lead now for Illini. Domas up top with 7.30 left in the game. Hands it off to Shannon. Shannon, top of the key. 
Eight on the shot clock. Driving in the lane. Off the glass. Missing it. And a foul by Kroll. And Shannon will shoot two. 72-70. Illini with the two-point lead. Woo, this is my first Illini game. This is my first Illini game. And I, I, I love Illini for a long time. Long, long time. Darren Williams. Man, RC in the chat. Cap, everyone out there. Alonzo. Man, all my mods out there, Nancy, everyone out there, and the Enki, Dirk out there, everyone out there in the chat listening in, all y'all lurkers out there listening in, you guys know I wish you a beautiful day. We're in TV timeout, commercial break, another timeout. I just want to take this time to wish you a beautiful day. That's all there is to it. End of the day, call it a day. In the future as well, if you're listening in and always chilling, you stumble upon me, I wish you a beautiful day as well in the future. I'm going to take a shot for you. We're here at St. Paddy's Day, the Big Ten Tournament Championship game on St. Paddy's Day. Always chilling here, about running out of breath, running out of voice. Two-point lead for Illini, 721 left in the game. 72-70, commercial break. Salutes, cheers, y'all. Beautiful Sunday. Happy St. Pat's commercial break. Mm. Mm -mm. And shout out Harry Carey, Harry Carey, Vince Scully, all the greats. I'm just going to shout out two of them because those are my two, two of my favorites. I mean, Jack DeBrickhouse, there's a lot out there, Jack Quinlan, there's a bunch of... I mean, if you guys listen to early games from, like, Black and White, I watch a lot of Black and White. I watch Grit. I watch a lot of Clint Eastwood and John Wayne. I watch a lot of Black and White, you guys. I'm old school. I love cut. I love it. But uh, I love old school radio. FJB, no doubt. Gray Wrench Mod. Gray Wrench Mod. FJB, no doubt. FJB. I'm going to throw that in the chat, too. I'm going to throw that twice in the chat. Great Wrench Mod, I might make you a mod someday. You never know. <laughs> Great Wrench Mod. Bruh. <laughs> Let's go. What? <laughs> Bruh. My seven button's stuck. Hang on. Time out. My buttons are stuck over here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hang on. I put sevens in there. Something's going on. <laughs> My puzzle got stuck. <laughs> I wanted to put this. Blap, blap, blap. I gotta put a lowercase because sometimes it's <laughs> put a lowercase. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon! <laughs> Let's go. You guys. Man. You guys are awesome. Gray Ranch Mod, you're awesome. Alonzo, you're awesome. RC, everyone in the chat is awesome, you guys. I'm from the Midwest, I'm a country boy. Thank God I'm a country boy. But lately I've been doing play-by-play. -play. I, I just do, I just do, I call games and this and that, and I just have fun with it. And But, uh, I was actually listening to Waylon Jennings before the game. I like Waylon, man. If you guys like bluegrass, I like bluegrass too. I like, if you guys like Doc Watkins. Who remember Doc Wat Doc Watkins? He was a blind man, but it doesn't mean anything, but whatever. But Watkins, I love Watkins. He has a son, too. He's a good, good singer, good bluegrass singer. Uh, but Billy Strings, I mean, come on. If you guys look up Billy Strings, you guys, I'm going to let you know one time, Billy Strings is amazing. From Michigan, just one of the greatest singers I've ever heard, one of the greatest, probably the greatest guitar player I've ever heard in my lifetime. I'm a singer myself. I, I sing in front of my cat over here, Quincy. I, I get a little jam session in every day. I sing. I, I love singing. Singing is good for your soul. Hit the highs and lows. Hit the do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, da. Hit them all. Singing is good for your soul, no doubt. Man, I love singing. I don't go karaoke, no nothing like that. I just sing in my room with my door closed sometimes, but sometimes it's open. Man, I know Quincy's enjoying it. I know my, I know my cat's enjoying it, but... I, I know nothing. I know I'm a real good dancer. Is let me get back to play by play. I'm done talking about myself. But while at the free throw line, knocking down the first free throw, 74-71, Illini with the three point lead. 
You guys, I'm feeling my oats right now. I'm whatever, whatever it is. I'm feeling something over here. I'm having a good time. I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good old time. Never doing a wrong. 74, 72, a two-point lead. And here's Domosk in the lane off the glass, missing it. Domosk getting his own rebound, kicking it to Shannon. Shannon to Hawkins. Back to Shannon. Shannon dribbling around, top of the key. And a pump fake and a three ball and a foul. And Shannon will shoot two or three free throws on a three ball. Amazing game, y'all. I'm going to put amazing game. It's going to go down to the wire. It's going to go down to the wire. No doubt about it. I put that chat up in there. Amazing game. It's going to go down to the wire. No doubt about it. Chat is open. Just be respectful. Just no spam, no toxicity. But you guys... I'm over here having fun. It's a hobby of mine. I just do this for fun. I don't get paid no nothing. I'm passing time having fun with you guys. The Big Ten Tournament Championship game. Terrence Jr. Shannon Jr. knocking down the first free throw. Oh, man. What a beautiful day. March 17th, 2024. I'm never going to forget this. I'm never going to forget this. I'm calling games. Who would have thought? Always chilling over here, doing play-by-play -play sports. I do baseball, football, basketball. I do other sports, and I'll be doing some boxing here as uh, Tyson Fury. He'll be fighting pretty soon in May. I love, I like boxing. I'm a boxer. I like working out, getting a pump. How many of y'all out there like working out, getting a pump? And man, I'll probably be getting a pump later on today. Getting a pump. Here's Klesman for three. Enough about me getting a pump. Here's Klesman for three. But Klesman cut the lead to two for Wisconsin. <laughs> you got your fucking... Oh, man. I love working out, though. I'm, I'm almost over the hill. I still work out. I still play basketball. I still shoot around and skateboard and all this and that. Hit the batting cage. Keep active, man. Keep active. Enjoy nature. It's the best for your soul. That's the greatest thing for your soul. Nature and singing and just enjoying life. Enjoying it. Enjoy it. Enjoy your day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful weekend because it's the Big Ten Tournament Championship game. I'm missing some plays here. A store with a beautiful Euro step and blocked away off the backboard by Ha Hawkins with a huge block. He just swatted that like a sand volleyball player. Co-ed, he's all smiles. God, I love that. Coleman Hawkins. I love those smiles over there. And the foul down low. A two-point game. Man. See, as the game goes on, we got 542 left in the game. I'm just... I get I get lost. Sometimes I just get lost. I have fun. And then I just start talking out loud. And my... I start talking out loud. That's all there is to it. I collect my thoughts. I collect my thoughts. AJ Store with 20 points today. In Wisconsin Trail by 2, 77 75, 542 left. AJ Store at the line shooting two. I gotta got get back in my groove. Gotta get back at it. Store knocking down the first free throw, 77 76. I got to get in the zone real quick, you guys. Enough about me. Enough about rambling on. Singing my song. I'm done with it. All my record players are broken. I got like three, four, five record players. I got thousands of records. You guys, believe it or not, I got... I, I love records. I love records. Old school LP albums. Man, I got... All my record players are broken. Though. I need needles. Man. Anyways... Anywho, tie ball game, 77 apiece, 23 second chance points for Wisconsin today. They tie it up at 77, hit that like. Domask down low off the glass and in. Illinois with a two point lead, 515 left in the game, folks. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. I'm always chilling doing play by play. You already know what time of day.
and store in the lane a beautiful runner. Actually, it was a strong post move. AJ store with the beast mode move down low. Woo! Marshawn Lynch beast mode move down low for AJ store. Here's the mosque kicking it out to good pump fake three top of the key. Missed it. Long rim rebound for Hepburn. Under five minutes left. 440 left. Tie ball game. 79 apiece. Here's Hepburn taking the baseline. Hepburn in the lane. Kicks it out to Klezmet. Klezmet gets a high screen from Crow. Step back. Pump fake. Gets it down low to Crow. High post. Over Dumask. Up. Hook shot in the lane. Missed it. Rebound Hawkins. A long outlet pass to Danger! Danger! Let's go! Oh, Dane Danger coming through in the clutch to give Illini a two-point lead with 4.16 left in the game. <laughs> Left-handed off the glass. 81-79. TV timeout. Woo. You guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe. I'm going to try to give you special effects here. I'm talking into my glass here. I'm getting a drink. I'm updating the scoreboard. Hang out real quick. Give me one second. Mm. Man. Man. I don't know what to do here. Something's... It's all stuck here. Dang it. Dang. The screens. There we go. Let me update that. All right. If you're gonna update. So a TV timeout, commercial break, 81-79, Illinois with a two-point lead, the fighting Illini with 416 left in the game. Gray wrench mod everyone in the bench in the I was gonna say in the chat. Not in the bench. <laughs> in the bench. <laughs> Ain't no bench players up in there. We got all starters. We're all starters. We're all MVPs tonight. You guys, if you're listening in, lurking around, just you stumble upon it always chilling. I don't get paid. I just do this for the likes and I do this for the subs. Keep me motivated. But regardless, if you don't like it, if you don't sub, I'll still be doing it because I love play by play. I love sports. I love basketball. I love everything about this. I mean, this is amazing. There's a couple hours a week. Doing this, I mean, lately I've been trying to do it every every week, but it's been every two weeks now. Always chilling here. I've, I've just been always chilling. Been doing too much chilling because I've only been streaming every couple weeks. But I try to give you my all every time I go live. I give it a hundred percent in every line I drop, man. Come on, man. man. But let's get to some game time stats here. Eighty-one seventy-nine. Hang on. Let me try to update the score real quick. 81. Gosh, I didn't plug my charger. My phone's overheated. Man, it won't let me update my phone. Or my, uh... It won't let me update my score for some reason, you know. Man, my phone's overheating. Hang on. So we're still commercial break, 8179. I'm having technical difficulties. It always does this. I'm afraid if I hit the power button, it'll just turn off the stream. But I'm just going to keep on rolling. You guys already know the score. 89. So up top, here's Klezman. 
Dribbling around, gets it to crawl. Crawl up top. Gets it to wall. Ooh, I had a nine in there. And a long shot by Klesman for three. Gives Wisconsin the one point lead. 82 81, 340 to go in the game. 6 to 16 downtown for Wisconsin, 6 to 19 Illinois, and down low and blocked away by Wall and foul. And Domask going to the line shooting free throws with 332 left in the game. Illinois is trailing by one now. 82 81. I'm going to update my phone. Woo. All right, so 8281. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, let me, so I can't, so my screen right now, I don't know what it's showing. Like, I don't know what the score is showing. It's probably not showing anything because I'm, I'm in the middle of updating the score. Like, oh, here we go, 89. Okay, so now it's let me do it. Okay, so 81, come on, come on. Pop one in there. Yes. All right, so RC in the chat. I can see your chat. Let me see. Or you can say you having technical difficulties. I'm having technicals, technicalities. I'm having technicalities and difficulties. RC and Ace and our Hawkeyes. Bruh, you're amazing, dude. Amazing channel, too, man. Shout out in the chat. Everyone out there in the chat just enjoying the game as much as I. RC Barn Burners, let's go. 82 81. Here's Eleanor with the lead. Here is Storm with the step back jumper. Rebound, Rogers. One point lead, Illinois, with three minutes to go in the Big Ten Tournament Championship game. Here's Domast. Kicks it out to Hawkins. Hawkins, top of the key, gets it back to Domast. Domast in the post. And a traveling by Domast in the post. Illinois with the one point lead. No why. Let's see if I can update that like uh nine eight, whatever it might it's I tried updating the score and it's just showing ninety eight, thirty eight, whatever it is. My uh my phone's all discombobulated. Anyways, 83-82. Illinois was one point lead. 2.30 left for Shannon up top. Guarded by Klesman. Double teamed. And Shannon taken to the lane and blocked away out of bounds by Crawl. Illinois ball with a one point lead. 2.29 left. Gosh, it's not letting me update my scoreboard. My scoreboard up above is all wrong. <laughs> My scoreboard up above is it, not right. So it's 83-82. Illinois was a one-point lead. <laughs> I tried updating it, but my phone's just not having it. My phone's just not like me right now. And Illinois just knocked down a shot. I missed it. A two-pointer. 85-82. Illinois three-point lead. 220 left. Here's a handoff to store on the wing. So don't pay attention to the score because they're totally wrong. Illinois with a, a three-point lead, 85-82. Here's Head Hepburn up top. Gets it to Klesman. Klesman to Gilmore. Gilmore taking his time. Hands it off to Klesman. Klesman step back. Three, top of the key. Klesman knocking it down. Tie ball game, 85 apiece. 145 left, 13 ties, 13 lead changes. Illinois led by as much as 6, Wisconsin led by as much as 10, but we are tied at 85 with 130 left. Here's Shannon up top, gets the high screen from Danger, swing pass to Hawkins, back to Shannon for 3, top of the key, Shannon 3 ball. And Illinois takes a 3 point lead and a timeout. With 126 left in the game. Woohoohoo! This, this is crazy. They say I'm crazy. This is unbelievable.
this is just unbelievable, guys. Illinois with a three-point lead. I can't even update my screen. I don't want to shut down the phone. Do I do this? See, if I hit, like, if I hit the power button, I'm afraid it'll shut down the whole stream. But, like, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of updating the, the score. Oh, that one almost went over. Almost tilted that one there. Woo. That's like a double shotty. Shots, 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 shots. Time out. All right, back. 85, 80, 88. Illinois three point lead. 119 left. Here's Klesman at the top. Klesman dribbling around. Get the ice cream from Kroll. Klesman clicks it to Kroll. Kroll up top. Picks up a dribble, gets it to Store. Store with the drive, knocked away, stolen by Shannon. Shannon on the drive, in transition off the glass. Shannon is fouled. And Shannon going to the line, shooting two. A foul on Klesman. Illinois with the three-point lead, 88-85. With Shannon with the steal there. Let's see if I can update that. Man, why is my phone doing this? Just man. I can't even update the score. I can't even update the score. It's just my my phone is just my phone's all janky. Bruh. Oh no. Ninety to eighty five, one minute left. Here's Hepburn on the drive off the glass. Missed it. Rebound good. Gets it to Shannon. Shannon is dribbling around and fouled with 50 seconds left. Shannon going to the line. Illinois up 5. 90 to 85. Gonna probably finish this out and makes the first free throw. So 91 85 Illinois with a six point lead, 34 points for Shannon now. Ninety-one, eighty-five, five, fifty seconds left. Short on the second one. Rebound, Kroll gets it out. Clespit, top of the key. Short, missed it. Rebound, knocked out of bounds, and foul on the ground by Shannon. It'll be Wisconsin ball, out of bounds. So ninety-one, eighty-five. Let me see. It's just not letting me update there. And Nesbitt knocks down the first, so 91-86. My phone's just not letting me update anything. I can't even update the score. I'm having technical difficulties. Man. And Chucky rattles home the second. 91-87. 41.8 to go in the game. Inbounds pass to Hawkins. Back to Rodgers, to Shannon, Shannon, to Domas, Domas with the drive, and he is fouled. Domas shooting free throws. So good sportsmanship by there, by uh, Wisconsin and McGee. Let's 
see. So they're still running out the deflagrant foul. Jeffrey Anderson, Brian Dorsey, Earl Watts, Watt, or Walton out there. Referees. They're contemplating whether or not this was a flagrant foul or not on Domosk. Uh But good sportsmanship by Kamari McGee. He didn't really mean no harm, and Damasco was tumbling to the ground. But uh, McGee, I mean, whistles for foul. He, he's going to make a play for the ball, no doubt about it. Uh, but 91 85 or 87, Illinois with a four point lead. 35.5 left in the game. My phone just completely froze. Ninety-one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And the first one knocked down. Ninety-two, eighty-seven. Illinois with a five-point lead now. Thirty-five point five seconds left here in the Big Ten tournament championship game. Can't update anything on my phone. My phone just man. Every stream I have to uh, not over yet. Here's a long pass. Hepper in the crawl. Hepper in top of the key. Twenty six seconds left. Illinois up six. His store with the three. Top of the key. Back iron missed it. Long rebound. Hepper in corner. Three ball short. Rebound. Shannon. Long outlet pass. To Hawkins, and that'll do it, folks. A line eye, 93 to 87. A line eye, the Illinois fighting a line eye are your Big Ten champions. 2024 Big Ten tournament champions, the fighting a line eye. Let's go. RC in the chat, who won? The fighting a line eye won. 93-87 is the final. And I'll run through some final game stats and everything here. I'll try to update the stat, the stat board, but I'll probably shut it down here because my phone's acting up and everything's crazy, discombobulated, di technical difficulties. I'm all feeling my oats over here, but I'm having an amazing day. What a beautiful day, you guys. Thanks for joining me. The Big Ten Tournament Championship game goes to the number 13 in the country, Illinois, fighting Illini. 93-87 over Wisconsin Badgers. The starters and the leading scorers, Terrence Shannon Jr., 34 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal for Terrence Shannon Jr., 8 for 15 shooting, 3, three of 6 downtown, 15 of 17 from the free throw line, 26 points for Marcus Domask, 8 assists, 7 rebounds for Domask, 26, 7, and 8, amazing game, 8 for 11 shooting, 1 of 1 downtown, 9 of 10 from the free throw line, Domask, other starters, Ty Rogers, 7 points, 5 rebounds, assists, a steal, a block, Hawkins with 7 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Guerrier, Quincy Guerrier, shout out Quincy. 6 points, 2 of 7 shooting, 2 of 4 downtown. And off the bench for Illini, Danger, 9 points, 7 rebounds. 2 points, 3 rebounds for Harmon off the bench. 2 points, a rebound for Gibbs off the bench. 2 rebounds for Good off the bench. 2 blocks for Good off the bench for Illini. Illini win the Big Ten Tournament Champion. Brad Underwood with the second Big Ten Championship. And the Fighting Illini are your NCAA 2024 Big Ten Champions.
They beat the Wisconsin Badgers 93-87. Your leading scorer for Wisconsin, A.J. Storr, 24 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist, 3 steals, 7-20 shooting for A.J. 20 points for Hepburn, 5, five assists, 5 rebounds, 3 steals. Wall with 7 points, 3 rebounds, and a steal. Or a 3 assists and a steal. Craw with 11 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists for Craw and a big block. 16 points for Klesmet. A rebound, two, two assists. Off the bench for Wisconsin. Gilmore, seven points, three rebounds. Two points for McGee off the bench. Assist a rebound for Blackwell off the bench. But folks, the damage is done. The Big Ten Tournament Champions, the Fighting Illini from Illinois. They win it 93-87. Illinois. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! L E Noise! Let's go! My seven number. My seven. Hang on one sec. Ah, oh, crap, I put that in there. <laughs> there we go. I'm out of here, guys. Thanks for joining me. RC in the chat. Everyone out there in the chat. Illinois! <laughs> With the victory here. The Big Ten Championship game. 2024. I gotta get going. I gotta... I gotta skadoodle. I gotta get out of here. I know you guys had enough of me. Always chilling here. Doing play-by-play announcing, commentating. Having a beautiful day out there, you guys. Everything's all messed up over here. My... My screen, my scoreboard, everything's all discombobulated. But we know that LNA won the Big Ten Tournament Championship. I hope you all having a beautiful day out there. In the future as well, if you stumble upon it, always chilling. In the future, I hope you're having a beautiful day as well. That's all it's all about. We're doing play-by-play, -play, commentating. We're all having a watch party here. Having an amazing day. I love this. Almost 100 games in. Play-by-play. -play. Almost a year in doing play-by-play. -play. Big Ten Tournament Championship game in the books. Illinois with the victor. What a beautiful day. Hope you all have a great weekend. I now hope to see you again sometime. NCAA Tournament. Less than a week away. A couple days away. Hope to see you again. I'll be calling some more games. No doubt about it. Take it easy. And I hope to see you again sometime. I love y'all. Take care, y'all.